Hello, Bees Bladers. Welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. It is August 5th, 2022, and we are live at the Hive. All right. How is everybody doing? We made it another week. Oh, yeah. And everybody's already showing up. Does anyone remember what tonight's topic was? Did you even look? I almost forgot because I have been running around like a chicken, you know, whew, 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 whew. <laughs> Uh, tonight we're going to be talking about blade shapes. Yeah, we like those shapes, baby. How you all doing? You all having a good day? I hope you're having a good day. I know I had a good day. It went by really, really quick. And I'm excited to share some really cool stuff with you all tonight. Um, it has been an exciting day and it's been a very adventurous week. And we've all made it another week. And here we are at the Hive. Shout out to all the channel members. I'm seeing a bunch of channel members in here. Mrs. Freak Show EDC, Will B, Top Dog. What's up, Q Ball? Just Nate Dog, Stacy Bolster Blades, Michael Morgan, Shark Guy ATX, and Iggy. I'm Iggy. Rothmo. What's everybody doing? Tree Stabbing Troy, Will B. And I'll just repeat everyone. Everyone over and over and over that I see. <laughs> uh, how you all doing? Um, so yeah, I uh, I have been running around in circles to get this set up. I know I wanted to talk. I do. We are going to talk about blade shapes, and I want to make sure you guys can hear me and that everything's cloud cloud and clear. And channel members, did you notice? I, I see Tree Stab and Troy, <laughs> pet schmoopers. All you uh, all you channel members, did you notice the new emojis going on? Just a couple, two or three. We, you asked for it and now we have a Bentley emoji and I couldn't leave Berkeley out. So we have Berkeley also. All right. And we have a new honeycomb for when people donate, we have a, a fresh honeycomb with a B on it. How about that? Oh, there they are. <laughs> Look at that chunky kitty. Oh, the kitty. <laughs> Look at that. Love it. Love it. Look at that. We got the honeycomb and the... <laughs> <laughs> love it uh jim jim said i i brought band-aids he's from western kentucky what's up jim uh this is awesome this is gonna be this is gonna be fun especially because you know normally i have this big old itinerary and i'm like it's gonna do this from from for the first 15 minutes and do that for the next 10 minutes well yeah well that doesn't always work and a shout out to everyone listening right now while you're driving or while you're at work I hope you're feeling absolutely fantastic. And if you're listening to this after the live stream, maybe the next day or the next week on your way to work or on your way to wherever or on your way home from work, be careful. Don't get mad at the person in front of you. You don't know what they're going through. They might be having a really bad day too. It's why they're going five miles under the speed limit. <laughs> ah, that's awesome. That is awesome. What's up, Matt Phillips? Blaze Burger? Uh, Thrasher's Garage. Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? Prado has been a member for nine months. He said, and let the hive stream roll. Prado 24. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, brother, for supporting the channel. Much, much appreciated. The whole family is showing up. This is awesome. Don't forget to show your support for the channel. The big old thumbs up. And you know how, well, you may or may not know how we do, but here I'm at the Hive, I usually do a extra giveaway if we get to 250 thumbs up. So if you're dropping in, and you might come back in a couple hours because we go for a good three hours or so. Uh, make sure you hit that thumbs up button because you might come back and there might be an extra giveaway going on. That's always some fun stuff. Uh, let's see. It looks like I'm a little crooked. A little crooked. Let's straighten her out. Yeah, not a good idea to adjust cameras during the live not a good idea uh joe said you were late because you were playing with all them sweet new kaisers i don't know what you're talking about and if anyone's in here right now and you did not watch the video that i dropped about an hour ago go watch that in its entirety it's only like 12 minutes go watch that and then come back i promise you're not going to miss anything i don't think <laughs> emay's navel said just wanted to start off with the donation thank you brother some honey up in this hive. Thank you very much. We have the new emojis for when people donate. Thank you for keeping the honey flowing up in here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And you know, I broke a sweat running around in circles getting ready. I about ran out of time. 
Thank you very much. Emaze keeps this thing rolling. Thank you. Thank you. Tyler Williams said, I watched it and I need all of those Kaisers. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. And I might roll them out here in a little while, maybe in an hour or two. We might show them. Cueball, he said, let's get this thing started. Hey, these bladers love the hive. Woohoo. Thank you, Cueball. Thank you very much, Cueball. You guys are showing some channel love. I love it, love it, love it. So much appreciated. Helps helps keep the lights on at the hive. We have to keep the hive lights. Keep on the hive lights. <laughs> Blades Hook Daniel said, I it was a surprise to see a video right before the live. Yeah, wasn't it though? J. Cruz said, watching Kaiser unboxings on the TV and live on the iPhone. That's what I'm talking about. So just to recap, tonight we're going to talk about blade shapes, and we may or may we may talk about the new Kaisers of the video that I just dropped about an hour ago. And if you haven't seen that, turn that on on another another something so you can get up to speed and watch it. It's only 12, 12 minutes or so long. Watch the whole thing. We won't do any giveaways or anything while you're gone. Don't worry. Avery Moore, welcome to Ultimate Bees Keeper. Avery, oh, oh my goodness. Wow. Every, everyone give a shout out to Avery, Ultimate Beekeeper. You don't even know. He is, whoa, that's, that's like the upper echelon of beekeepers here at the Bees Hive. Show some channel love. Oh, my goodness. Thank you very much, Avery. That is amaze balls. Wow. Let me see. There we go. Found it. Found it. See it right there. It says became a YouTube member. No, it's more than that. And StreamYard's not saying it. He's became an ultimate bees keeper. We're talking top of the line. Like he's taking care of the hive. That is that is awesome, man. Thank you very much, Avery. That is much appreciated. Kind sir. Wow. Talking about getting the evening off set off right. Uh, Brad said, watching from the slide. Watching from the slide? <laughs> uh, uh, forwarding some love to you. Love the channel. Dude, that is that is so much appreciated, Avery. My goodness. That is that is that is awesome. I'm, I'm kind of I'm almost at a lack for words. Not quite. It's kind of hard to do. <laughs> it's when I get a really good, really good unboxing, and I'm like, eh, <laughs> Beast, uh, Blue Sting 2009 said, "The like, hit the like button, everyone, but don't cut yourself. Yes, you are the man, Avery. So, um, where do I start? You know, the, let's see, it's only 825. We might have a little something special coming up a little later. And check, check. Hopefully you all can hear me loud enough. As long as I'm loud and clear, I'll keep everything just like it is. Brad said the inflatable slide and oh, <laughs> okay, that Brad. So the neighbors wanted me to do the live stream tonight next door at their house in their backyard. They have this inflatable, gigantic water feature dealio. It has palm trees. It's like, I don't know two stories tall or something and it's kind of like a end of the summer thing they do and that thing is ginormous it has like a water slide and, and all this stuff and they wanted me to do the live stream from there and hello brad and hello everyone hello neighbors and i was like you know what i would i would be sweating my butt off if i did that todd carr said just say i have the words in my head they are just refusing to cooperate with me yes exactly but hello, Brad. Hello, neighbors. Um, I, I found out. I talked to them after I was getting the mail uh, today when I went out to got the new Kaisers that you guys just watched or you're getting ready to watch. And <laughs> I found out that, that, that there's a couple sayings and they're requesting that I do some merch. Uh, wh maybe one in particular with pow right in the kisser. <laughs> Would you guys like some merch with some pow right in the kisser and just look at it? I think we might have to do that. That's a good idea. I got to get on the merch merch bandwagon. Um, let's see. So doing a little bit of this, we can do 
we have the the whole side cam we have our dual camera we had a lot of knives on the channel this week five five or six six of them were just on the channel tonight and if you haven't watched the new kaiser video that i put out about an hour ago go watch that right now we will not do any any giveaways we won't do anything while you're gone or if you have another device or another window go watch that that way you could be up to, up to speed when we probably introduce those knives here in a little bit <laughs> tree staff and troy said being b's neighbor would be awesome i, I don't know about that I, i'm not out like doing cartwheels or anything <laughs> i go out and mow the grass blow off the blow off the grass uh throw the ball with the dog it's not like i'm outside with well i go out in the backyard and take pictures of knives but people are probably like what's that dude doing like staring down at the ground you know meanwhile i'm trying to move a knife just in the right light Everything's perfect. I go to take a picture and then the leaves move and there's a shadow and I'm like, ah, forget it. Forget it. Iggy said, I want a B shirt. Don't forget to make Mrs. B shirts too. Oh, yes, definitely. Definitely. Darren, he said, evening everyone. A tad late, but I made it. But I made it. And yes, we uh, we had quite, quite something special happen. We now have an ultimate beekeeper, which is wow. Wow. Avery. Uh, let's see. Hello, knife fan. What's up, Brian F. Hungry Hippo said, "Do you think you could sharp you could sharpen for us the knife on top that was dull?" Uh, I could. I mean, not not at the moment. That would be that would be a whole different setup. That would be kind of. <laughs> I love it. The knife that was dull. He he watched the video. Ah, did everyone watch the video on this one? That's the question. I mean, this is. <laughs> Whew. And something I didn't I didn't really say, which I could have, was the factory edge on a knife doesn't necessarily mean that's what you're getting. And what I mean by that is usually the edge on, on a knife from the factory, it's not going to last that long most of the time because it's not going to be your best edge. Usually after you sharpen a knife a couple times, that's when it holds a good edge. That's when you're getting to the good steel and you're not just getting what you get from that factory grinder. Grinder. Rothmo said, not the sharpest I've gotten from them. <laughs> hey, uh, I'm, I'm, I've, I'm kind. Let's put it that way. I'm not, I, there's no reason to bash. So I, I find a more positive way to give uh, some, some feedback when I get a knife that won't hardly cut paper. You know, that's just what happens sometimes. Iggy said, yes, we all watched it. <laughs> uh, Fluffy Delgado, he said, if you sharpen that one, it might increase the Wi-Fi range. <laughs> yes. You know, I did not even think about it. It didn't even occur to me that this looks like a Wi-Fi knife until people in the comments said something. So, I, I had I didn't even didn't even dawn on me. It's the Wi-Fi knife. Look at that. This knife has it increased my Wi-Fi signal. I, I'm getting no lag tonight because of this knife. Look at that. It was called the C something, the C pattern or something like that. But yeah, Avery said that knife needs some love. Most factory edges suck. That said, my work sharp bug out. Just showed up today, and dude, not sure if Work Sharp sharpens them before they ship them, but it's a hair splitter. Ooh, it's a hair splitter. I love that. Love it. Tyler Williams said, I have the Spyderco Sharp Maker, but I still have difficulty getting anything very sharp. Um, the Spyderco Sharp Maker, is that the two, uh, is that the two uh rods that are that are sticking up? Flip flat said, I didn't watch the video yet. I get the dunce cap, dude. You, that's all right. Just go watch it real quick, real quick. No dunce caps here. And there are no dumb questions either because there are folks in here that have one knife, haven't even got a knife yet, stumbled upon the channel, find knives maybe interesting, or all they have is a couple knives they bought at the gas station. And it's our job to let them know what's out there. The Saga, Saga Hot Sight, Saigaha Pattern? I do not know what that is, cue ball. Uh, Pewee McPearson said, I love my EF bear fly. Carried it all day today. Super fidgety. Giggity. Oh. 
Brian F said, I'm watching right now on another device. Wife thinks I'm crazy. What? Well, you know, that could be a good thing. At least, at least you're not boring. You know, you only watch one thing at a time. I mean, come on. I've been known to watch TV with my wife and three live streams at the same time. Just saying. And she'll, she'll look over and she'll say, what are you listening to? I'm like uh, about five, five, six different people right now. I just turn up the volume on one or the other, depending on the conversation. Yes, Todd Carr. We all started with one knife at some point. And that's why we are here. And it, I always tell people, if you have a question, this is the place to go. So Peter Miller said, love me a good Saigaha. Somebody sound that out for me. Saigaha. I don't even know what that is. Um, it's the reason that Peter Miller goes to Urban EDC, su, su, Urban EDC Supply a lot. Hey, if you go to Urban EDC, go through my link. Just saying. <laughs> I have a link in the description. Um, yeah, I'm curious. Is that what this pattern is? I just don't know how to say it. So it's a new word. It's a new word for me. Stacy said, we are all, we are, we are all realms of experience and wide range of ages. Yes. We have teenagers in here. This is a family friendly show. What's up me with knives? Sagaha. Sagaha pattern. It's the Sagaha. Looks like Wi-Fi to me. <laughs> the Sagaha. Sagaha. Brad said, what's a good starting knife? Preferably 40 and under. Dude, there are so many. If you want a good idea, you can go to just pull up B's blades. Just saying. You can pull up B's blades and a lot of the videos, I will label them something under 30, under 40. I have, there are so many knives on the channel that would be a great starter knife for someone. Um, and there's a couple, there's a couple rules, uh, not rules. Yeah, to a Dave, it should be called the Wi Fi knife, definitely. There's a couple things is there are a lot of the knives in the 30 to $40 range, they're D2, which is, there's nothing wrong with D2 unless you've never sharpened a knife that could discourage you from getting more because D2 is, it's a tough steel and it takes a minute to, to put a fresh edge on it. So with that being said, I tend to like to recommend, and yeah, I know here it comes HCR 13. I like the spider coat tenacious for two reasons. One, because it has a thin blade and two, because of the blade steel, it gets very sharp. And unless you're doing hard work, it'll stay sharp. And when it dulls, it's very easy to bring back to sharp. Then you get one with a tougher steel and you've already learned how to sharpen a knife. Nate dog, just Nate dog. Remember for four months said, I got my first sharpener today. Work sharp, field sharpener. Newbie can't get bottom half of blades sharp yet. Just Nate Dog, thank, thank you for supporting the channel and being a member for four months, bro ham. Thank you very much. Uh, can't get bottom half of the blade sharp yet. Well, that's right. You just you just started today. So you're you'll you'll be good. Uh horror movie said, I'm in the hive. Sorry I'm late. I was ordering the drop bear. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. The drop bear. Drop bear is sweet. Zadakim said, can't go wrong with CVV Praxis. That you know what? That's good. If you like a nice full-size knife, the Praxis is an awesome knife. I'll grab it. I don't think I need those anymore. The Praxis? Yeah, baby. 42. They're still 42 bucks. And it's a good it's a good blade steel to sharpen too. It's very comfortable in the hand. Very comfortable. There's no hot spots. It has awesome ergos. It's a larger knife. It's not like a small pocket knife. Um, like here, here's the, here's your typical, we call it uh Swiss army knife just for size comparison. Here's, here's the praxis. Here's the, here's a Swiss army knife. So it's not small. No, 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 <laughs> but boy, it is. It's a great one. It really is. And it's super slicey. Whoo. And for 42 bucks, that's a, that was an excellent, excellent one. It's uh, Michael Borges said it's the best Civivi in my opinion. You know, uh, for for this style knife, yeah, definitely. It's it's right up there with. Uh, um, 
I like, I also like this one and I always forget the name of it. It's almost identical. It's very, very close to the Praxis. Somebody uh, remind me what it's called. Um, I can't remember. This one right here. I don't even think you can get the black and red anymore. The Insight. Yes, the Insight. I love the Insight. It is, it is, it is a great one too. But I did a battle just back and forth for with for the money, which one between the insight and the uh, praxis. And if you want to go see it, just go search. Just go to the search tab and search back. Brian F said, B's the new SIM cut button lock saxy is awesome. Recommend that one. Oh, yeah. Where's the saxy? It's so sexy. What did I do with the saxy? It's right here. Yeah, you're right. This one's uh I couldn't believe the price of this one, a button lock. Let me wipe it off. And welcome, welcome, everybody that's just coming in. Welcome to the Bees Hive. We are already getting into it, talking about knives and recommended knives to people, talking about knife sharpening. We're going to be talking more about blade shapes. And besides that, here is the Sencut Saxy. Look at that, my carta. I, I am impressed. Civivi, not, well, Civivi, same thing. Sincut totally impressed me with this micarta. Would you look at it? Just look at it. Super, super nice. And this has 9CR 18 MOV. That is a great steal. So maybe instead of 8CR, 9CR. 9CR 18 MOV. How about that? Michael Morgan said, Hollow Ground 14C Thumb Studs Praxis would be cool. Oh, yeah. Uh, budget blade review said you could say the insight had is had the edge horror movie there you go everyone's bringing up Savini. um well now i can't see i can't see you guys are making me grab knives i love this and while we're doing this let's uh let's do a little bit of the old split screen here we'll share the love so everybody can see what we're talking about all right so Let's close the knives. Let's close the Wi-Fi knife. And this EF knife. Here's, here's the send cut. And the riffle, you cannot go wrong with the riffle. If you saw my video, oh, yeah, that's something else I want to bring up. Somebody remind me. Um, what's up, Chris S? Chris S said knife cam. Yeah. Um, let's see. Bees, I got the green micarta sin cut, and it's the same as my green CVV Chevalier. Oh, yeah, yeah. And let's see. If you didn't see my video on on uh, the to build a knife collection for five hundred dollars, then go watch that one too. And that was one that I posted, uh, I believe, this week. Yeah. Uh, what do you guys think about that? Did I have a pretty good range there? My my goal was to fit as many blade shapes or as many blade steels. And I wanted to get as much variety as I could. If someone were to say, here's 500 bucks, how, what could I get to start out a collection? That was what went through my head. And everybody, please go and subscribe to all of these channels that are being suggested to you in here by Stacy Bolster Blades and the moderators. Thank you very much, Mo moderators. Moderators, Joshua Mosteller said you did well, bees. Thank you, thank you. Zadikim liked the choices. All right, very nice. Chris said, "Man, you had a bunch of knives in that video." <laughs> yes, I did. I think there were nine, eight or nine. G ball, I was talking to Darren. Uh, Hungry Hippo said the pinion. Oh, I can't wait till the pinion comes in. Brian F said it was a good mix of metal and actions. Yes. But here's the Civivi Riffle. This one's 50 bucks. And you can't go wrong with this. If you like a slicey knife and one that'll be easy to learn how to sharpen with, I've had this one for, you know, I don't know, going on a year and a half, a year, a year and whatever. You can't go wrong with a riffle. Iggy said, did you post them on Instagram? If you're talking about my video, I didn't. Let me get me a drink.
Tree Stab and Troy just brought up another one. We're on a CVV kick, apparently. The one of my favorites, you know, I'm glad you brought that up. That's another one of my favorites is the Civivi Brazen. It has great ergos, great steel. I love everything about the Brazen. You guys are just having me drag them all out. Civivi Brazen. And you know what? I've always wanted the uh, Tonto Civivi Brazen. I've never got around to getting it yet. But I've always wanted the Tonto version. There's the Brazen. It's a great knife. That's where I that's where I stepped on it. <laughs> this I took this one. This knife's been to Alabama with me. Stacy Bolster Blades, Civivi Backlash, <clears throat> Civivi Uga Booga. Robert Feely said, I love the action on the Civivi Brazen Tonto. Yeah, I I love a Tonto blade. What's up, Tim B? Nate. Nate, just Nate Dog said, stepped on a B. Let's see what we have over here on the knife cam. So we have this one here, $27 Axis lock, Axis style lock. And here's the new Petrified Fish. Here we, We'll keep our Wi-Fi going over here. And someone will have to remind me later because I'm going to forget what the, wi what the Wi-Fi is called. Definitely. Here's the Sabibi Brazen. Yeah, I have a little bit of a shadow going here. Move the light. That's a little better. A little better. Good evening, KC. Savivi Mastiff. Oh, the Savivi Mastiff. That's a big one. Joshua Mosteller said, yes, there's a full-length Savivi Kai V coming out in about a week. This is true. This is true. And I may or may not be checking that one out. Just saying. Flip, flip that narrows it down, I feel. I feel it. I feel like. All right. Um, let me put a couple of these back before I get too many out at once. But I, I like this. Recommended knives, people that are newer to the knife community. And they're like, what do I get? I don't know. We will recommend... Some good knives. And that, that's the nice thing about this knife community is there's so many people and so much, so much, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? So much experience in this knife community. Miller86 said, I like the dual grind bed glider you showed. Oh, yeah. I, I, I might be showing that here in a little bit once we know everybody went and watched the video so they can, so they can uh, be in the conversation. <laughs> Teaser. What's up, Eon and Edge? Yeah, I'm liking this knife cam business. And we'll, we'll get into blade shapes here in a little bit. Um, let me see. Let me look at something here. What time is it? 840, 840 something? Um, all right. Tell you what. Do, let's do this for fun. We've already checked that out. Joe Casper said, I got a Kaiser non-flipper sheepdog back in my cart if anybody's interested in trading. Horror movie said, Bees, did you see the dessert Civivi element coming soon from Blade HQ? No, I did not. No, I didn't. I haven't been on, I need to go on Blade HQ and check element of the, I, yeah, I read it. I, I'm like, uh, <laughs> what was that movie with Jim Carrey? The, the, the guy would read whatever you put on the teleprompter. Hey, Bluminati Ninja. Sorry I'm late. Give me some hair. Bluminati Ninja. Thank you, brother. Everybody show some love with the new emojis. We got the we have the new, new and improved honeycomb with the B on it. Thank you, Bluminati. In case you're new to the channel, you didn't know when somebody donates $10 or more, you get the Amera hair, the Bees Blades, the Amera hair, the red, white, and blue, baby. We like the red, white, and blue. Thank you very much, Bluminati. 
Thank you. Thank you, sir. You the man. And, and also, anybody that's just coming in, we have Avery is a ultimate beekeeper. Blue Sting said, we got Bush. What? And I do have an unboxing to do. We'll do that here in a little bit, too. Thank you very much, Blue Minotti. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys are so awesome. Yes, big thumbs up to Avery, Ultimate Bees Keeper. And let me see. I've got something to share here. Yeah, I have, a, I have an unboxing to do here in a little bit. Bentley and Schmooper emojis. Yes, Byron. We have new emojis. How about that? <laughs> I I think I did a really good job with the Bentley. The Berkeley one, if I wouldn't have made the background black, you wouldn't have seen much but a couple dots and a nose and a tongue because it would have been white. So maybe I'll make one with a little bit different colored background. But I did a I did a I think I did pretty good at, at Bentley. That's that's him sitting on the windowsill looking at me like what? What, dude? Uh, just Nate Dog said, who else flicks their knives the entire duration of the hide live? Yeah, tell me about it. I hold back. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll be like, okay, there's knives. But I hold back because I know sometimes it can get quite, not annoying, but it can be quite loud when someone's flicking a knife the entire time of the stream. I, I get it. I know. And seeing here I am, you got me started. You got me, got me flicking. Speaking of flicking, this one here. I put it. I put a screaming edge on the flavorist, the new petrified fish flavorist, and I have to. I got to hand it to petrified fish. Look at that micarta. Just look at it. Yeah, look. This this knife. I couldn't believe it. I thought maybe it was something I was doing. That I got two knives in a row that I did an unboxing on and then I go to cut paper and it's like, I'm like, what is going on? Yeah. But look at that. A lot, a lot of folks were like, did the tip break off? What happened to that knife? Joshua Mosteller said no handle wasted on that one. Yep. That's for sure. Flavor budget blade review said flavorous was my nickname in high school. The guy sitting next to me flipping all the time. What's up, Dina? Yep. D. Edelman said, cut some paper for us, bees. <laughs> you, want, what's the, you guys remembered, you remember how, what, if you watched the video, I got to be careful because this dude's sharp now. If you watch the video, you know how, what kind of edge this has. Oh, wait a minute. We have a, we have a second camera. I keep forgetting about the knife cam. Look at that. We have a knife can. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Let me do something here. Bring it down. Comments. There we go. So now. Yeah. <laughs> it will. This thing will shave the hair off your arm now, baby. Yeah, it is. It is sharp. I used my TS Prof to sharpen this bad boy, and it did a good job. Did a good job. The paper cutting hour. <laughs> Blade, Blade took Daniel said that pry bar cuts. Xander, what's up, Xander? Shout out to Xander. He said. Hello, Brad's friend reporting for duty. Hello to the neighbors, Brad and, and Xander next door, chilling. Um, they're probably still out there chilling. Uh, I have some fans as neighbors. You guys are freaking awesome. You guys are absolutely rock. And I'm going to get with you guys. Uh, I was going to today, but didn't have enough time. I'm going to get you guys some swag. Just saying. 
go get you some swaggage. And I'm going to work on getting you, getting you some, uh, get some merch up here for you guys to get too. Um, Top Dog said, you go here to get your pinion. Oh, yes. Go get you a pinion from, from Tempest Knives. Uh, Flash Rod. And if you're just getting in here, definitely go watch the, the new video that I posted about an hour and a half ago of six, count them, six new Kaiser Knives. The video says five, but two of them are the same, the same one. All right. Now, I, I love that you guys always are do a really good job at uh, distracting me. <clears throat> Will B said, Bees, I consider you my neighbor, even if you're 25 minutes from me. Yes, Will B, you are definitely a neighbor. One of these days, you know, in all my spare time, we'll have to like get a cup of coffee and and like scare the people at, I don't know, where Frish is or somewhere and just to have a whole, be like, oh no, we need a corner booth. <laughs> And start laying out knives, set up big old boxes. I'll bring my uh, my big old case, be like, chong. Uh, let's see. All right. You see what's on the screen, right? Let's do it. Let's do it. Do -do 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 -do. Will be, yes, I'm going to River's Edge Cutlery tomorrow. I will be there or be square. Cue ball said, I wish it was a tad larger. I wish I was a baller. Wish I had a rabbit in a hat. Iggy, yes, I am excited about the meetup tomorrow. I am. Um, Brett, Brett's carrying the critical mini. Top dog said, I got the QSP exclusive penguin knife murdered out black jig titanium in 390. Woo. Yeah. Um, Avery is carrying the Quatch today, the Kaiser Quatch. Joshua Mostiller got a brand new Aryan with acid wash metal and maroon and black micarta. It drops and flicks hard. Newcastle Ninja is carrying the Concept Entity. Zachariah is carrying the Tucson TS 314, the Cutco 1882 Bull Whip. Robert Feely, the Ontario Rat One. Whoa, it jumped. Okay, slow down, guys. Slow down. Uh, uh, Robert Feely, Ontario Rat 1, and the Roach Mini. Joshua Mosteller said, super cool. Blades Hook Daniel, been waited for this knife forever. He's playing with the new Beg Lighter XL and the Miguron Bologna. Darren Pettigrew, the Tuna Fire, and the Olight S3R. Mrs. Freak Show's got the Devo Stout, the Mini Archbishop, and the Microtep Alter Tech. Budget Blade Review has the, uh, is talking to Eon. Um, Alice Paracord, Blue Thor 7, and Blue Baby Banters. Got the blue rocking today. Tom Sheehan, Mini Sheepdog, and congratulations on your win last night. I saw that on the live stream. Tom, congratulations. Kurt Eisen, the Mora 511, and the Rat 1 and D2. What's up, Tom Weigert? And it jumped on me again. Holy cow. Warren Albrecht, the hiccups in the pocket, flicking the Kaiser original. Michael Morgan, full-size sheepdog, sheep's foot griptilian. Q-ball, the Demco 80 20.5 shark's foot with naftastic titanium putter milled scales. Will be. Bees, I'll be there and wearing a black cowboy hat, possibly a Mike Imler shirt. All right. Kevin Weingart, pet fried fish bunta. LS, a $20 Sativian 132 and a Kaiser original, all black. Tyler Williams, the pair of three in tan. DD Oni XL dyed red and boxer Boker little friend, the little friend. Nice fast has the Vosti nightshade and the big lighter too. Love the nightshade. Tim Anderson, the Civiti conspirator, Craig Hamilton, the titanium Kaiser October just arrived today. Some dude, the baby B and the Lance Lancelot sheath budget blade review, Kaiser big lighter, mini elementum and Eon and edge Hank and a fidget ball and a copper Bitcoin. Dave N uh, is talking, Chris S, the Hogue XO4, Upset Black Blade, Blue Lava G Mascus. Mike Jernak, the Petrified Fish, 949X. Hungry Hippo, rocking a Kaiser Original, Button, Green Handle. Laura Gillespie, the Kaiser Gemini, and the Finch Holiday. Sean Vale, the Vastie Black Light Nightshade, not leaving my pocket for a while. I <laughs> love it, love it. G-Ball, the Spartan Blade Harsey 2021 edition and the Titanium Kubi Atlas. Tim B, the Pena Apache Kickstop, the Vosti Nightshade, Lime Green Victorinox Classic SD, 
Zebra F701, Olight IXV, Naf Collector, Rosecraft, Mohawk. Whoa, where'd it go? Wow, that, that jumped. That jumped. I have to go back and see if I can find it. Naf Collected, Rosecraft, Mohawk, Shink, Kershaw, Launch, Swish Army, Panda, and the Kaiser Cormorant. Dave Stout, David. Cold Steel 8010 and the QSP Penguin. Byron Kennedy's talking. Richard. Do, 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 do. I got I got sidetracked. Prado 24, Kaiser Mini Pelican, Civivi Elementum Button Lock, Sativian ST243, and a Kaiser Harpoon Fixed Blade. Jason Lee EDC. Lee, ah, 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 it took me a second. Jason Lee EDC, the Black My Carded Genie. So flickable. Matthew Tech Dog, the Leatherman Serac, Serac, S3 LED Flashlight, Nipix Cobra XS in the Victorinox Swiss Tool. Joe Kasprick, the Black Huxby Best Tech Beluga Phoenix Black, the Buck Huxby Best Tech Beluga Phoenix LD30. Whew, I need some comments. <laughs> Zadikim, the Hogue Mini Ritter. It's what I brought with me to my sisters for 10 days. I've been house sitting and dog sitting. Very nice. D. Edelman has the Petrified Fish Raptor. Dwayne Letterman said, Bees Hives a Buzzing. Don't forget, if you're just getting in here, to give me a big thumbs up. Appreciate it. Todd Carr, the Leatherman Surge, Gerber Dime, Gerber Shard, SD Classic, 3-inch Carabiner Knife, Cold Steel SR1 Light, Kubi KU322, Bunch Made Mini Freak, 5th Pocket, and the Old Timer Carving Jack. Flat Job, the Petrified Fish Victor. Still waiting, bees. Still waiting. Mike K, the Mini Cut Jack, and the Lumen Top EO5C. O-Tip said, bees, I've had a bad couple days, only have my desk knives. ST-132, the Asher Picket, Tuna Fire, SA, PR-4, Mora, Companion, HD, Leatherman Bond, the Leatherman Wave. I hope you have a better day today, my friend. Michael Morgan, Joe K, regular size sheepdog, not the mini or the XL, question mark? And it jumped on me. Oh, it jumped on me. See if I can find where I was. I'm trying to get everybody in here. Bluminati Ninja said the fun is returned. Stubbs toe on the coffee table. Bluminati Ninja, nine months. And hopefully I can find where I was. Oh, boy. I don't know how far. Okay, let me, let me see. I'm going to try to see if I can find where I was. Oh, boy. We'll, we'll see if I can find it. Um, I see. I see Todd Cars. You guys throw me for a loops. You, you gotta let me. Gotta let me keep going when I got it going. Michael Morgan. Uh, there we go. Peter Miller. The Fair and Forge Stinger. Carbon fiber handle. Arnold Albert. Albert. Nothing. I'm new. Hoping to win one. Hey, that's cool, dude. Paper Tiger, the bug out with titanium crossfade scales. And welcome, Arnold. I'm glad you're here, man. Pull up a chair, sit back and relax. Mike, the CJRB, more my Leah. Will B had the Grinsmo Norseman, the Nimble X, the Concept Predator, the Kaiser Raylight Sheepdog, the Kaiser Raylight Sheepdog, the Kaiser Raylight Mini Sheepdog, the Ship, the Civivi Chevalier, the Olight Baton 3, and every man graft a pen. Got it. Brian F. Petrified Fish, PF818, the Sin Cut Saxy. It's so sexy. And the Kaiser Gemini. Love the Gemini. Luke 1813, a daisy plastic butter knife. It don't get more budget than that. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, <laughs> my goodness. Alpha 3 is carrying the Finch Holiday. Uh, Stacy Bolsterblade said, sorry, phone call and dinner time. We'll be back soon. Well, we'll miss you, Stacy. Howard K left a pot left pocket, a official Boy Scout, right pocket, Smith and Wesson Shield 9 millimeter, and on my right side of my belt, a QSP penguin in denim. JB Underground, the CVV Elementum, and the Kaiser Grazioso. Fluffy Delgato has the Spider Coat Endura 4. Nice fast said blink and breathe. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for the excuse, Casey. <sighs> I took a breath. All right, I'm ready for another hundred. 
Yannan's Edge, today I carry the Petrified Fish Havrog, all black version, the TRM Neutron, Olight I1R2 Pro, the Vic Classic SD, a Nibu Cloud Coin, and a Mrs. Edge, Yannan's Edge, Microfiber Hank. Stacy's the Kaiser XL Sheepdog and Tan Micarta, the Mini Sheepdog with Green G10, and the Angry Watermelon. And Iggy telling me to blink. Thank you, every very one. Um, and if you're new to the Bees Blades, um, sometimes when I'm reading the the chats and stuff for too long, I forget to blink and dry my contacts out. And everyone is great gracious to remind me. Tree Stab of Troy, the Hinder XM18, 3.5 Leatherman Micra, and my rule number nine, Hank from Forest. It was crafted in Michigan. Um, let's see. Byron Kennedy, I had an Kaiser Assassin, a Kudos Nice Fast giveaway, and an ABKT Stockman at G Ball in the in laws. You have to be cross eyed by now. Looks like we're getting caught up. Get caught up. Flip Flat, Clip Point Kubi, KU216D. Horror movie said. The Kaiser Gemini, Petrified Fish, Mini Beluga, and my Honey Tinker. Very nice. Very, very nice. Very nice. Silent Black Disc, Boker Bad Guy, 4-Inch Slippy, Max Ace Ranger, CJRB My Leah, all in black and red. Very nice. My favorite colors. Avery Moore said Sheepdog XL is a way of life. I still don't have a Sheepdog XL. <laughs> Joe Casper said regular three in Sheepdog. Jim, packing the Cold Steel XL Voyager, the Cold Steel Counterattack 1, the Spyderco Clip It Delica. Very nice. Zachariah said you're just not fast enough. Pewy, pew, 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 McPewerson is the EF Bear Paw in Green Micarta. Love that Axis Lock. Cue Balls just grabbed his Real Steel Megalodon. And the TRM Shadow and G10 to keep his 80 20.5 company during the live. Very nice, cue ball. Very, very nice. Mason McTavish, you won Metal Complex. Ooh, Metal Complex just gave his knife away. That means we'll have we'll have folks coming in here in just a minute. <coughs> Zachariah said, Who's new and doesn't have a knife? I will send them one. How about that? How's that for some DSKFS? Um, let's see. I think we're about caught up. Um, do, 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 do. Let me do some switching a rooski here. Switching. Robert Feely said, I forgot. I always carry my howling wolf tinker. Me with knives is carrying the CRKT Pilar three, the Gerber Sedulo, the Leatherman Serger, the Ace Beam Poke Light. AA, the butane lighter, and a Mrs. Me with Knives Hank. Oh, very nice. You have a Mrs. Me with Ni me with Knives Hank. That is cool. That is really cool. Uh Iggy said, Are you feeling better, bees? You sound better. Yes, I'm feeling much better. A little bit, a little bit nasally, but feeling like 95% better. Feeling much, much better. Thank you for asking. I'll thank you. I'll thank you very much. Miko Miko four eleven said drop bear however you say it yeah the drop bear with the uh, what's the what's the lock called the I can't even remember I just drew a blank um Irish bomb squad said I my I, my newest knife was about six years ago wow nice fast said hey bees grumpy grunt will have the blue G ten pinion at River's Edge Cutlery tomorrow, if anyone wants to see it. Oh, nice. Very nice. As long as I'm not flicking it and it accidentally flings out the window or something on the way there. <laughs> uh, Silent Black Net Disc said, we are truly in the golden honey age of knives. Aren't we, though? I mean, aren't we? Just hit the thumb button. All right, that was fun. And if I missed anybody's uh, carry, go ahead and say it. 
I'm looking forward to going to River's Edge Cutlery tomorrow and seeing what all the charcuterie of kniveries that we're going to be able to see. Aberdeen Blade said, oh, the long drive to River's Edge Cutlery tomorrow is so tempting. Yeah. Zadikim, everyone, just so you know, Zadikim will be right back. The dog has got to go out and go poo. <laughs> At least that's what he said. Oh, my goodness. All right, what time? Uh, it's only 9.07. Okay, we're still good. Don't forget to hit that like button. And uh, that usually, uh, if everyone remembers as they come and go to get us to 250 thumbs up, we always get that extra giveaway. And, and there's usually a good one. Oh, gosh. G-Ball, six and a half hours. That's too much just to go to a grand opening. Golly. Isaac, what's up, Isaac? He said uh, he's carrying the... The Wave Plus, just working. Hey, that's cool. Uh, Mrs. B's, uh, she's she's upstairs on the couch. She usually comes in a little later. Um, she'll probably be down. What's up, Sharpen Up? Said, finally caught one of your live streams, dude. Love your reviews. Well, thank you very much, man. That is much appreciated. I am glad everyone is here. This, this is the Knife family. And everyone give a happy birthday to Brian F. Yesterday was his birthday. And I we told him happy birthday in the comments on the video, but in case you missed it, happy birthday, Brian F. It is his birthday. Da -da -da. I would sing to you, but for some reason, YouTube... I don't know. It copyrights you, and then you have to say, no, it was just me, blah, blah, blah. I would love to sing happy birthday. That'd be fun. Um, there's actually, YouTube has a couple versions of happy birthday that they'll let you play. They sound nothing like happy birthday. There's like a jazz version and some other weird version, and you can barely pick out the fact that it's happy birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday, Brian F. I love, I love all this fun stuff. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Okay, here we go. And while we're on the topic. All right, we have a topic, ladies and gentlemen. Before we get back to blade shapes and some other knife knife charcuterie. And here's the knife cam. We have the knife cam rolling. Dwayne K said, there's no surprise party here. Um, Sharpen Up said, is there a giveaway? If so, how to become eligible? All you have to do is just hang out, brother. Um, it'll be very easy to, to become eligible. It'll be, it'll be easy to do once we do it. And there's, there's a couple things. I, there's three different ways I do giveaways. One of them, we do the number game. Another one, this is an incentive to make sure you comment on every video that I post. So every time I post a video, just if you don't have a comment about the knife in that video, just say hello to everyone or, or say something, whatever's on your mind, you know, tell us what you had for breakfast, say something positive. It helps the algorithm. And I do random giveaways and do random comment pickers on a video from like the following week or the week before. I mean, or maybe two weeks before you never know. I go to a random video. Sometimes the videos that don't do as well. And I'll do a random giveaway based on people that just commented on that video. And then another one that we're one of that we're going to do tonight. One of the ones we're going to do tonight is a little later on. I'll tell you a hashtag and everyone just types in the hashtag and then you get your automatically entered. So don't worry. Every, we will make sure everyone knows. And we'll probably do a couple giveaways tonight. And here I am totally missing all the, all the birthdays. All right. Let me see here. All right. Uh, wow. They went by quick. Budget Blade Review said my son's birthday is in 10 days. He's going to be six. Very nice. And we're looking for birthdays. Bur Happy birthday to you. Nick Martino, right here. August 16th, baby. Ha <laughs> ha. Happy birthday, Nick, Nick Martino. 
Mrs. Freak Show said mine is next month in, on Patriots Day. Ooh, very nice. Very, very nice. What's up, Dwayne K? What's up, Abraka Daniel? Uh, Craig Hamilton, daughter number two, turns 21. Happy birthday to her. Gonzo, you did not miss the giveaway. Matthew Tech Dog, firstborn son of four, turns 29 this month. Wow, that is awesome. Budget Blade Review said my son turns six on the 15th. He says, hello. Hello, Junior Budget Blade Review. Chris S., Brian F., and two of my sons, 29 and 27 years. Love you, boys, if you're watching. That is awesome. That is awesome. Howard K. said I'm getting my first CBB tomorrow. <laughs> I love that emoji with the tongue hanging out. That's hilarious. Love it. Isaac Barbosa, Barbosa just a two-year wedding anniversary. More important to remember than my own birthday. Probably. Probably. Congratulations on the two big years, bro. Um, Silent Black just said, there ain't no party like a Bees Blade party because a Bees Blades party don't stop. Um, I'm making sure, let's see. Twack job. My birthday is next week. Might treat myself to a new Beg Lighter XL. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did you see the one in the video that I posted at around 7.30 tonight? <laughs> That's a pretty nice one. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. And... Hopefully, I don't miss too many birthdays. I got to pull something up here. Take care of some business. You know me, always multitasking. I am I very rarely relax. <laughs> Just always multitasking. And let's see. Let me double check, see if I'm missing any birthdays. A.K.A. Paolo... AKA, I always want to say the whole thing. Alice Paracord, lanyard down, two zipper pulls. Now make it a big Larry, a big Larry. Um, let's see. Andrew, ch -ch -ch -ch. happy Dirk Day. <laughs> and I have a question for all of you here in just a minute. And and go over to Instagram to Alice, AKA Paracord. You'll see her name in here. Um, she makes all kinds of awesome paracord stuff. Um, I have one thing of hers left I could show you, but I don't have it on. It's over over Yander. Uh, nice Fast said he stopped having birthdays. He stopped at 29 because he looks like he's about 34, maybe 35. Pretty young guy. Um. I be positive mostly said today is my 65th birthday. Happy birthday, I be positive mostly. <laughs> I like that you're mostly positive and happy 65th birthday, brother. That is awesome. That is so cool. What's up, Mr. 2%? We have Australia in the hive tonight. Yeah. What's up, Mr. 2%? How you doing, Cobber? That is awesome. Nick Martino said, I'm treating myself to the new Null Knives Voodoo. My Lord, it's sexy. It's so sexy. Um, Dwayne K said, you seem like you feel better, bees. Oh, yes, I feel much, much better. Kurt Eisen said, I like the XL in tonight's video very much. Very much. Um, KC has definitely been in way more lives lately. Good to see him in more lives. Good day, Cobbers. Good day. Now I have a question for you all. Um, let's see. I'll, I'll do. I'll make this easy. Let's do this. And you got. You guys are gonna like this question. You're gonna like this one. All right, so let me double check something that I'm going to ask you. All right, so here's your question. Um, there you go. There's your question at the bottom of the screen. What knife would you like to see in a hive stream giveaway? And don't be crazy about it, but what's a what would be a cool knife to be in a, in a giveaway? And I am considering, I've I've not been one to do miles, big milestone giveaways, but we are approaching a milestone. So I am considering a big giveaway coming up sometime in the near future. In the near future. 
Just saying. The drop beat, Kaiser Cormorant, Kaiser Roach, a Beluga. Any ProTech Auto, I bet. A factor. <laughs> uh, bees be giving away the $400 knife. What do you think this is? Metal Complex? A Beluga Mini? A Penguin? An 8020.5? A Rockstead? Yeah. We'll just start passing out a Rockstead every other giveaway. Every other giveaway. We'll do that. Cormorant, Sheepdog, Beluga Tonto, Kaiser Mojave for giveaway, Spider Coast Shaman, <laughs> I guess. Byron Kennedy said a Kaiser Beglider XL, Rockstead, Shaman. We have some realistic ones in here. A Vosti Bellamy. Or anything from Protec, they're affordable, okay? A Koenig Arius, yes, KC. I think we have three or four extra left over on the, on the giveaway shelf. We can dust a couple off, couple off, and maybe do two in the same night. QSP Copperhead. Um, Will B said, Beg Lighter XL. Everyone should experience one. The Danny L said, QSP Penguin Titanium. Tim, Tom Sheehan said, any knife that is legal in all 50 states. So that would mean it would just have to be under a th three inch blade, right? It, would that cover anything legal and all? What would be legal? Are there any states that don't allow you to have a lock blade, a locking blade? Um, three inch knives are the only thing that I ever hear come out that people say. Richard Strombiger said, any Kaiser. Country Boy said, Savivi Kojit Purple. Get all kinds of ideas here. Knife Collector, a Benchmade Mini Bug Out. Maddie is here. What's up, Mattis Faction? It, Mattis Faction just lurking, just lurking. Avery Moore said, give away a KFC Sheepdog XL. It's the only way I will ever get one. <laughs> uh -huh. Zadikim said, did you see the new Titanium Kaiser October? No, I, did. I don't think I did. Horror movie said the Big Lighter XL or a new Kaiser Doman. Dude, the new Doman with the uh, the hollow blade, the hollow grind, that is that is some sweet action. I'm telling you what. Nick Martino said anything Leatherman to bees, you can't beat getting a Leatherman. You know, I am still in the market. I still want a multi-tool. And I went back and forth over a Leatherman and a Victorinox, and I think I kind of want the Victorinox. And... I was going to get one from uh, OCD for EDC, and then it didn't work because Victorinox said, no, you have to be a brick and mortar, blah, blah, blah. So I still don't have me a, a decent Leatherman or Victorinox type tool, a, you know, a pliers. I want, I want some good scissors on it. I, want, I don't want the replaceable heads for the wire snippers. They make them replaceable because then you don't make them as strong, and then you have to buy the replacements. So I don't want that. Um, and I do want a solid blade on it. And then there are some with some better steel than just like flat, whatever. Uh, silent black just said, California is two inches for out the front. Yeah. Well, well, Iana's edge says California is two inches or less blade. No, I think it's only two, two inches or less. If it's an automatic is my understanding. Savivi conspirator with wood, wood scales. Yes. Yes. Jason Lee EDC said a slip joint should be legal everywhere. Yeah, I would think I would think that something like uh, Victorinox would that I, that should be legal everywhere. Bunch of blade review said Mattisfaction. I'm not in the group? Question mark. Byron Kennedy says a non-assisted, non-automatic, less than three inch blade length should cover almost all states that allow you to carry knives. That sounds. That sounds. That's what I understand. That's how I understand it. And my mouse does not want to work. There we go. The Danny said, bees, get yourself a Leatherman signal multi-tool with quite a decent blade on it. Chris S. said, the knives in California need to be short because people there have thin skin. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> oh, my goodness. 
Zadikin's asking a question about a mini mini griptilian. Knife rights has an app that tells you what is legal where you are. That is correct. Thank you very much, Scott. And huge Scott out, Scott out, huge Scott out to Scott in. Shout out to Scott in for for posting the uh, the the YouTube schedule on Instagram. That dude is he rocks the Instagram. I'm telling you what. He rocks it. And man, do you, you do a lot of cooking. You all, I'm always hungry when I see your posts on Instagram. Jeez. Thin skins, butter knife used and autographed. Oh yeah. Yeah. What's up, Tony Boombots? Good evening, everyone. If you're just getting here, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. And while you're at it, um, Joe Casper said, bees, you need to get a Leatherman. I still have and use mine every day. Original Leatherman from 23 years ago. Wow. I, I do love hearing about when people have carried something for so long. That is, that is always an awesome thing. Michael Upchurch said, love my PF Victor blew my car to Bowie awesomeness. And see, now, now you've got people that are coming up with knives that fit, fit those uh, parameters. What's up, Islamic? Said I have a store in my neighborhood that sells out the front knives over the counter. Knife lies are lo- knife lies are loose, allegedly. Oh, there you go. Chris S said a fixed blade would be a cool giveaway. Oh yes, Bodge Blade reviews. Uh, he's adding discount codes because so many channels have so many discount codes, and you don't know who has what discount code. So Scott S is adding discount codes to the knife schedule. That is awesome. That is totally cool. So everybody that's in here, hopefully you have went and subscribed to Eonin's Edge and Bluminati Ninja and Mattis Faction and KC from Knives Fast, the Knives Fast channel. Hopefully everyone in here is aware of those channels and you've gone and subscribed and checked them out. If not, go do a subscribe and hit the bell button. And then after the live stream, go watch a couple of their videos. See if you like the content. One Minute Knife Review. There's another one. What's up, One Minute Knife Review? That's another knife channel. So if you're new to the knife world, all of these, all we have all these awesome knife channels in here right now. Right, This I consider like just the hangout. We're all hanging out, right? This is what we do on the live streams. We hang out, we talk about knives, then we talk about pita butter, then we talk about knives, then we'll talk about whatever, you know, adulting, like my dryer broke, how do I fix it? No, we don't do that. Well, yeah, sometimes we do. <laughs> but Gonzo, oh, Gonzo Reviews, there's another knife channel. Go subscribe to Gonzo. And is Mimo is Mimo in here? Uh, Mimo. Michael Morgan and Stacy Bolster Blades, they are very awesome. When you see them post stuff, actually look at what they're posting. And Top Dog, when you see them post a link, that link goes to something. Actually read it and be like, oh, what is that? I'll check that out real quick. Eonan's Edge said, thank you, Bees, for the shout out and to all the mods here for throwing up my link. There you go. Now see like, oh, Pocket Metal. Go and subscribe to my Pocket Metal. Now see how Top Dog just threw up that link? When you see those, don't just let them go by. They actually go to something. Sometimes it'll be to discount codes or new knives that are on sale, all kinds of fun stuff. We all try to keep up on all of this stuff. Just like the new pinion. You have to go to Tempest Knives. All right. Go to TempestKnives.com or go to over to Instagram and type in Tempest Knives and then look at the pinion. And there's three different ones. Get one of each one. You'll you'll be glad you did. I would show you, I would show you mine. But I haven't got them yet. <laughs> They're not quite here yet. But I will be showing them off when I get them. Uh, Top Dog said, Cole. Oh, yes, Tri-State. My neighbor, Tri-State EDC, has a 3K giveaway coming up. Dope. There you go. Top Dog put that link up. Stacy Bolster Blaze just put the link to Tempest Knives. See, that's something else besides talking about the knives is there's a lot of you that this is your first live stream. This is the first live stream you've been to and welcome to all of you that are new we're letting you know besides talking about knives we're also letting you know about everyone else out there that has knife content and shows knives on their channel 
and does all this kind of fun stuff because there are live streams every night of the week, every day of the week where we show knives and talk about how much we love knives and the differences in knives. And that's something else about knife collecting is it doesn't take, but just a tiny little change in one knife to make it just like, Ooh, Ooh, what's that? One minute knife review said, yeah, no doubt. Welcome to all the new knife people. Yes. If you, if you have been in the knife community for less than let's say 30 days, if you've been in, the knife community for less than 30 days or you if this is your first or second live stream let us all know so we can say hello and we can see your name because you will start recognizing names that are flying by just like just like family in no time you'd be like oh yeah that's the guy that has this knife or that's the dude with the cat or whatever oh stasa 23 definitely go and subscribe to stasa 23 he is an awesome channel he's a he's a channel that i watch too Without a doubt. No doubt. <laughs> Blue Stink, pizza and giant peach talk. Yeah, we talk about pizza and peaches. The Danny said, I haven't found any Miguron knives in your videos. Worth checking out the Acri or in Valona. They're like 50 bucks each and they're pretty good. And you know, the funny thing is I had both of those knives for a few months and nobody was talking about them or they had been talked about. And then people quit talking about them and I didn't review them. And now they've all of a sudden just became so popular again. But yeah, I, I checked them out. They're good knives. They're, they're good budget knives. They've, they've made a resurgence without a doubt. Avery Moore said, what defines in <laughs> just, I don't know. That's a good question. If you're asking the question, then, then that, that's probably, you're probably newer to the knife community. You are definitely in being an ultimate beast keeper. So here's the saxy. I figured I'd show the saxy again because, man, when I get some micarta like this, whoo, look at that grind. This this reminds me so much of the blade on the petrified fish havrog. It has a very similar kind of a small little dip, just a tiny little dip. Ah, <laughs> dip. Migron Valona, hands down, one of the best big blades under 50 bucks. There you go. Will B set it. Oh, everyday city carry. There's another one. And Michael Imler and Neves knives. Go and subscribe to them too. Uh, Chris S said that would be a great giveaway bees. Dip for sure. Um, you know what? Let's see. You thought it was a thumb stud Gemini? No. But boy, there's a thumb stud, just thumb stud. There's a button lock coming out just, to, just in about everything out there you can imagine. All right. So running over, <laughs> going over the knives that were on the channel this week, besides the video, the ones that showed up in the video tonight, because... The video I did that I dropped tonight at about 7.30, it had six knives in it. So if you haven't seen my new Kaiser video, definitely go and check that out because it has some sweet Kaiser knives in it. And I got to tell you, the CJRB Lago button lock. Do, 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 do. Kubi Damascus Monster Dog would be a dope giveaway. Everyone loves that Damascus one. I have, I have, I have the monster dog. Here's the monster dog he speaks of. Looks like Snoopy. Open the bushy Omi on the knife cam. The what? Bushy Omi. Mr. Two Percent said, "Does anyone have the Kaiser Drop Bear? Is it any good?" Mr. Two Percent, yes, it is a it is a good knife. I mean, I've only had mine for a few hours, but <laughs> I haven't got to really play with it or mess with it. Um, I've seen my my uh, Drop Bear about as much as anyone that has watched my video. 
What's up, Mateo? He said, okay, I'll, dude, I didn't even know. How did you sneak in here? Mateo said, I'm out. Love you, bees. Y'all have a great live. Well, gee whiz. Go and get you some M-bomb jerky from Mateo. Go on Instagram to M-bomb jerky and ma makes the best jerky you've ever had in your life. It's hard to describe it. It really is. I love I love getting sh giving shout outs because there's people that don't know about this stuff. D metal, what's up, D metal? Have a have a good one, bees. Look at the video K lied did on the drop bear and how to adjust the clutch lock. Oh yeah, I know I I know how to do it. Um, Vu fam did a did a wonderful video on on the clutch lock. Definitely. I love that you can adjust it. So, you know what? We're going to switch gears. Do a little switcherooski. Knives everywhere. Let me see. Keep the knives of the channel this week. In one spot because I have 50 knives on the table already. Uh, somebody grab that. Thank you. And ban them. Yeah, when I said we're switching gears, I, I wasn't kidding. Switching gears. And see, I'm missing one. Oh, there we go. So I'm just going to set these right there, you know, kind of like, you know. Do a little set down a rooski. Yeah, just gonna just set these right here. Just like that. In case anybody has anything they want to talk about. You know, anything that, that comes up in the conversation. Drop bear. <laughs> What's up, Voo fam? Voo. Um, you can still get the drop bear on the Kaiser Kaiser website. Mojave is sold out. You can still get them on, on Kaiser. Robert Vance said, hello, what's up? Six time hello. Glad you're feeling better, brother. Hello, Robert Vance. Thank you, brother. Thank you, thank you, thank you. No, I am not going to give away six knives. <laughs> <laughs> so. Here is the new drop bear in all of its beautimous glory. Would you look at it? Just look at it. The, the purple, whoever came up with the idea to put the purple thumb stud on it, absolute genius. It, it makes this knife just pop. Love it, love it, love it. This, it just feels like it totally feels like a fixed blade in your hand. It feels so solid. It feels so solid. And it looks like I have an announcement to make. Do -do 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 -do. Taking care of business. Hold on. Boo fam, action for you. The drop bear. Boo fam. Everybody show some new channel love with the new emojis to Boo fam for supporting the channel. Thank you, brother. With the 10 doll hairs. Likes that drop bear. Action for you. Try to get the red, white, and blue in here. <laughs> Anybody that donates 10 or more always gets the bees, blades, and mare hair. Here we go. Make Get it a little, little tidied up. And then you shake it. It's just like the ones that were on top of the pencils, the, uh, the trolls on top of the pencils. You go like this, and then 
you spin them. I'm not spinning around in my chair. Thank you very much, Vu fam, for throwing up some honeycombs up in this hive. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. So much appreciated, brother. Oh yeah, I forgot we had the the new uh, the new emojis. I haven't seen the kitty. Mrs. B's might have fell asleep. All right, so uh, thank you, Vu fam. Very much appreciated, sir. He said my favorite live. Yeah. So a little bit more. Here's this side of the drop bear and on the, and you can adjust the clutch lock right here. You can adjust how, how springy it is. The Omega spring on the inside, right under where my finger is right now, there are five slots where you can, you can decide where you want to put the Omega spring. Matter of fact, I can take one of these scales off and show you guys real quick if you'd like. Where's my uh, kit? There it is. Y'all enjoy the background while I come to the other side of the room and grab my kit. And we're back. Jake from Ohio State said, dang, I feel like I'm on Cole's live stream. Ignored. Dude, Jake from Ohio State. What's up, Jake? I'm going to see Jake tomorrow. And that's another channel. Go subscribe to Jake from Ohio State. Um, grab me a T8 and a T6. <laughs> I have so many things I want to, I want to do tonight on the channel or on the chain, on the live stream. <sighs> okay. So I'll take the scale off so I can show you wh where are we? So I can show you what it looks like on the inside. Um, forty dollar Kaiser bed lighter at White Mountain Knives. No, I did not see that. Yes, I am going. Brian Robinson, I am going to Rivers Edge Cutlery opening tomorrow. So, if anyone's interested, I can pop a scale off of this to show you what it looks like. Right, what is that? A T eight and a T six. Let's pop a scale. And you know, I could do it on here like this there's not a whole lot to it there's one <laughs> everyone says please do it and get take this t6 off this side down at the other end all right okay and did i get it all the way yes i did all right, so here you go. I'm going to show, show it up nice and close for you all to see where you can adjust the Omega spring on the inside of the drop bear. Look at that. Is that not the coolest thing? You can you can make whatever, whatever uh, tension you want on, on this. Uh, I, it just slipped my mind. <laughs> Tree Seven Troy said, a dollar says, bees pulls a nice fast and drops something. Dude, button money on me doing that? Hey, if you up the ante, I'll drop something on purpose. <laughs> but there is where you can adjust the drop bear. Is that not the coolest thing? Where you just pull this, uh, where I'm airing backwards here. You just pull this out and drop it in one of the other slots to make it less. This right here would be the most tension, and you can make it as light as you want. But the nice thing about this, another nice thing about this knife, the axis lock tension adjust. It's called the clutch lock. Um, you can take this side off and you can take this side off and the blade is still held in there. That is, that is very cool. But I'll leave this off just for now and hopefully I won't lose a screw. Keep my screws. Bees, does the drop bear feel as solid as the Manix 2? Um, it's not as heavy as the Manix too, but it feels very solid in the hand. It's not going anywhere in my hand. It feels like a little fixed blade. It has, it has awesome. I mean, and look at the action on this thing.
And oh my gosh. So I'm going to mention this too. <laughs> Darren Pettigrew said, I'll call your bluff. Drop away. Thank you, Darren. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, brother. Thank you for donating to the bees hive and keeping the honey flowing. Very much appreciated. Wow, this hair is looking crazy. Thank you, Darren. Dwayne K said, well, that EF access lock you reviewed frustrated me taking apart and putting back together. <laughs> I bet it did. <laughs> uh, thank you, Darren. And all the bees hive members are showing some channel love with the new emojis. Look at that. Got the new, the new honeycomb with the bee on it. What do you think about that? Something that Kaiser did that has made me so happy with the six knives that I unboxed tonight. And if you haven't seen that video, go watch it or go watch it after. Make sure you watch it. They've extended their excellent jimping far enough out to where I can put my thumb out where I want it and it's still locked on. Check out this jimping. Is that not the coolest thing ever? They put the jimping out there where it matters. I say, if you're going to give me jimping, put it out there where I can put my thumb on it. When I do pull cuts, I put my thumb out here. I don't hold my thumb way up here at the start of the blade. When I'm doing a pull cut, I go like that and I extend my thumb and it is locked into place. They did that jimping with, with all of their new knives. So here's the drop bear. And I know I'm not seeing the comments, but I can only do one thing at a time. Here's the new Big Lighter XL. <laughs> yeah, baby. Would you look at it? Just look at it. Look at this. Jimping for days. Yeah. So all of you guys, and I, you know who you are. You know who you are. You know who you are. That you always talk, tell me you like the bigger blades. Please tell me you have a Big Lighter XL. And, um, um, so I have two Beg Lighter XLs. I bought this one from White Mountain Knives. And I got this one from Kaiser. This one I like better for some reason. I don't know if it's because it's, I don't know. I just, I like the feel of it a little bit. Maybe, maybe because it has the coating and the coating slows it down just a tad. Um, Jason Lee EDC said the custard mine who makes knives, I cut his blanks. He calls jimping chinking drives me nuts. <laughs> uh, kitty. So there's the big lighter XL. Kitty. Well, I, I think the kitty's here. Kitty, you gotta come say hi. He came over, said hello, hello. And then he walked away. Will B said, I've been known to carry two knives over four inches, and the Beg Lighter XL is one of them. Love it. What a kitty. So I'm about to get the cat. Show you guys the cat. Kitty, kitty. Uh, anything with a blade more than three and a half inches, count me out, said Zachariah. Um, oh, I see the cat emojis. They're, talk they're talking for you, Bentley. <coughs> oh, and here he is. Look at all the Bentley emojis, Bentley. That is the coolest thing ever. <laughs> oh, check it out. That is the coolest thing ever. That is so cool. Look at here. Would you look at it? Look at they're all they're all throwing up your emoji. Kitty kitty. That is the coolest thing. Voo fam said Bentley is an absolute unit. <laughs> uh. Oh, kitty kitty. That is so cool. Bentley finally got his own emoji. I mean, he he has made more live streams than a lot of folks. He's only missed a couple, and that's probably the when, when I was out of town. That's about the only ones he ever misses. How about that? Oh, the 
So Schmoopers need some loving too. Thank you, Byron Kennedy. Oh, it's a double wide cat. Yes, it's a double wide. Um, the Danny said, all right, off I go here across the pond is already quite late. Wishing you all a great weekend. Thank you very much for being here. Danielle. Thank you. Thank you for being here, man. Such a pretty kitty. All right. So here's the bed glider XL and all its awesomeness. A little bit of texture vision for you. Um, I think he's a little bit of uh, Norwegian forest cat mixed with mixed in with a little bit of Maine Coon. Has good, 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 good texture. Good, good, good texture. This one is solid. Love it. Thank you, Garland Bab. Said he liked my latest Kaiser video. Thank you very much. There's that one. Now here, here for our oh oh, I don't know which one I want to show you next. How about oh, and I'm let me share what I'm showing here. Do this. Keep stuff together. All right, there we go. All right, keep it together. What's up, Lacey Lace? Uh, Tyler Williams, the cat and the knife have good cat texture. So this new bag lighter XL, or no, this is the bag lighter, the new bag lighter. The blade on this thing is just awesome. <laughs> I mean. It is awesome. Look at that. Is that not the coolest thing ever? I love that blade shape. Oh my goodness. The Beg Lighter Tonto with the hollow ground blade, the dual grind. Oh, ho, 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 mama. Would you look at it? Just look at it. Ooh, mama. Love it. I love Azo's, Azo's work. And it, you cannot get drop shuttier than a bag lighter, a bag lighter too. I remember when KC from Nye's Fast, the Nye's Fast channel. I remember when he got his carbon fiber bag lighter too. And he realized that, holy cow, bag lighter two is a lot different than the bag lighter one. Um, Blade took Daniel is... Uh, is frowning. Why are you frowning? You you can stick stick a tick with that beast. Yes, you can. Um. Oh, my extra camera dropped out. What happened there? Let's see if I can get my extra camera back. I hit the cord or something. Yeah, we'll get it back here in a second. It's all right. I can show you this way. But chip, look at that. Awesome, awesome micarta. And on top of that, the adjustable pocket clip. I love it. You can put the pocket clip deeper if you want to. That is so freaking awesome. Blade Tip Daniel said, don't like Tontos. Okay, all right, all right. You don't you don't like Tontos? That's good. That's okay. I have another one to share too. See so if I can get the extra camera to come back. It's still thinking about it. I don't know why. Come on. Sometimes it takes a minute. Sometimes it takes a minute. Yeah, when I when I hit the uh, the cord, it it dropped our second camera out. I want to get our camera back. Adjustable pocket clips are a great idea. You ain't kidding. I love knife says my big lighter two is too drop shetty. Yeah, it's as drop shetty as it gets, and that's why the big lighter two has. That's the whole reason. See this nub right here, where my thumb's hitting. The purpose of that nub is to stop the blade on your thumb so you can let it down the rest of the way so you won't cut yourself. That's It doesn't, I mean, you can't. Once you get past the detent, it just falls. And I'm trying to get our, uh, our extra camera back. Darn it. It said, try restarting your browser. No, I'm not doing that. I have way too many things hooked up. Way too many things hooked up. We'll just try the old unplug and replug. 
there. We'll do that. Miller 86 said, I missed out on these drops, unfortunately. Uh, which ones? Uh, some of these I th are still out there. Um, now, for all of you mini sheepdog lovers, here's their newest rich light. This is in V4 steel. Somebody grab that. Thank you. This is a pretty cool looking rich light. It's kind of a purplish. Uh, it's called something red, uh, rock red, red rock. Something of that nature. Uh, Miller 86, the bear is gone. The bed glider is gone. Uh, Miller 86, you can go to the Kaiser website and get, get a drop bear. They still have them on, the, on Kaiser's website. You won't get the 10% off, but you can still get one. The, unless they've sold out in the last, you know, since, I don't know, in the last hour, two hours. They were still on the Kaiser website a couple hours ago. Vu fan said, I think it just sold out. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. You know, you would think when Kaiser knows that it has a home run like this, that they would make a whole bunch of them. <laughs> I'm just saying. Craig Hamilton, you're going to poop your pants when you get your hands on the Titania October. It is so good. Craig, $9.99 doll hairs. The $9.99 also gets the Amera hair. Thank you very much, brother. Thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for putting some honey up in this comb. Jake from Ohio State said, Bees, are you bringing some show and tell stuff tomorrow? You know, I was wondering. I don't know if people will be actually doing that or if it's I – don't, I don't know what tomorrow – I don't know what's going on. I could bring a little satchel with some with some knives in it, I guess. Um, Vu Fam said, Kaiser has waves of inventory due to the quantity they can produce. Okay. All right. Peter Miller said, oh, no, my poor pantaloons. <laughs> Dwayne K said, drives up demand with short runs and makes sure they sell. Oh, okay. All right, well, man, everyone's talking about the Kaiser Titanium, the October Titanium. Why Why am I missing out on the, you know, I'm just going to have to hold up my, my Titanium Cormorant with the frag. What the frag? Chris S. said, the Beg Lighter Tonto was going to be my last knife until the Fenrir came out. Ooh, the Fenrir is a nice one. Um, let's see if our second camera is going to cooperate. We might have lost it for the night. If we did, that's okay. Oh, hey. Hey, hey, oh, hey. We got it. We're back. Now all we have to do is a little zoomage. There we go. We did it. <laughs> Change the view. There we go. We are back in business. Jason Lee EDC. Welcome to Scout Bees. Everybody, welcome Jason E. Jason Lee EDC to the Bees Hive. Supporting the hive. Thank you, brother. That is awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Member of the Bees Hive. Welcome, 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 sir. Kaiser is dropping fire. Yes, they are. Oh, my gosh. Left and right, Kaiser is dropping fire. Uh, let's see. Let me do this. World of technology. I love technology. I love, I love when new stuff comes out. I love learning new things about technology. I love being able to share new stuff with you. So here's the drop bear. Here's the drop bear with one of the scales off the side so you can see what it looks like where you can adjust the clutch lock. Isn't that the coolest thing ever? What, what a spectacular idea and such an easy concept, but somebody had to think of it. The drop bear, baby. Craig Hamilton saying, cue ball, it never went into production. It was revamped. Uh, top, oh. Um, so, I have, here's something to let you all know. Is everyone listening? This is going to be in a, okay, uh, top dog, check your, check your message.
Kaiser Original XL coming in the next few months. Kaiser Original XL. Oh, yes. I'm loving hearing that. That is awesome to hear. Thank you, Craig. Thank you. Thank you. And I get to see Jake for tomorrow. Uh, let me see all you these know, knife nuts. We would have several gatherings. Might as well check out knives all day. Yeah. Um, I, me and Mrs. B's are going to hitch a ride there. So I'm not sure how long all day we're going to be there. I can bring some knives. Um, I don't know if it's a good idea to bring a bunch of knives and leave in the car. That might not be a good idea. And I don't want to carry around a big case of knives. Maybe I could just bring a little little thingy with I don't know I have I have a little portable thing that holds eighteen. I don't know I don't know I haven't really thought that far ahead even though it's tomorrow. Todd Car Todd yes yeah, very cool you you can adjust the tension it is it is very cool that you can do that. So oh the bag lighter here's the bag lighter button lock for all you bag lighter fans. Here's the button lock bag lighter. So here, I mean, it has the same drop, droppy shut action. Look at that. Beep. Miller 86 said, where could I buy that locking case instead of Amazon? Um, you know, I think White Mountain Knives had that vault case. Maybe the vault, um, the one that I'll tell you what the case that I use the most, like when I want to carry multiple knives with me is this one. And I'll, uh, let me, let me pull up a link for you guys just in case you want to, because it is, it is out of so many knife cases. Uh, let me see. Let me see if I can find it. Looking something up for you guys and gals. All right. Um, let me make sure I've got the right one here. So th there is a caveat. And I'll tell you what it is as soon as I pull this up. Because I'm going to pop down a link because you guys are going to be curious. All right. But this is the this is the knife case that I carry all the time. I carry it with me when I go when I go places. This one it holds 18 knives and most of them big. There's one that says ZT and uh, let's see. Here's a link. One of them says ZT on it, and the other one says Kershaw. They're both the exact same thing. Just one of them says ZT. Now, on Amazon, there's only one on there right now that says ZT, and it looks does not look like this. So I didn't give you that link. I gave you the link, and it says Kershaw. So you can always, if you don't like Kershaw, you can use a black marker and cover out the Kershaw part. But this thing is awesome because on top of the 18 knives that it'll hold, and I took, I took all the knives out. Look, I even have still in it in the middle section hold on in the middle section you can put smaller knives say i still have i have my loctite because i had a couple knives with pivots that i wanted to lock tight and then i also still have my uh you guys know what that is don't you the chili pepper the chili pepper but this holds it holds 18. The ones in the middle are big. They don't they don't your sm, kind of smaller knives fit in here, but you can fit any size knife you want in these in these pockets here. There's five on each side, five here, and then there's five on this side, or four and four, and then five on this side. And on top of that, there's room to put a couple hanks. You could put a, a, a sharpening stone in there, and it's it's padded. Freaking love it. It's like 30. Five thirty-six bucks. Tree stab at Troy. Yep, yeah, it's Swag's knife. 
this was in swag's pocket this was her chili pepper and she gifted it to me very graciously very very nice of her wow why is that so bright that is that seems uber bright let's get it to calm down i don't know why it's so bright it needs adjusted Face cam. Oh, yeah. Um, I was going to get with uh, KC about that. Exposure automatic. White balance automatic processing, noise reduction, all that fun stuff. Let's see if that does anything. Yeah, it seems extra bright, but hey, you can see you can see everything very well. Yeah, I do. Uh, Andy, I like the Kaiser, the uh, chili pepper. The chili pepper. Okay. Um, let me get back on track because I sidetracked my own self. What's up, Iggy? Iggy makes a good point. Hit the like button. Um, it's 10. I have a couple other things. Oh, I have an unboxing I need to do before I forget. I'm very forgetful. I'm a very un forgetful person. All right. So I have a box here and I'm going to un unbox it right now. Um, I think I'm going to use the little sheepdog. You know, when you're opening packages, it's always, I'm sitting here talking like you guys can see me and you can't. It's always good to use a brand new sheepdog in 4V. You need 4V to get through some of this tape, right? Sure, I'm not on camera. <laughs> Any of you have uh Dwayne K wants to know if anybody has a two sun stingray and how do you like it? Rich light sheepdog with the removable slipper tab, flipper delete. Oh, does this one have the removable flipper tab? Hold the bus. Hold the bus. Yes. It does. I didn't even know that. I wish I would have known that. I didn't even pay close enough attention. Ha! Ah, has, this has... See how I did the video so quick? It has the removable flipper tab. Excellent. Excellent. Man, this thing is just smooth as butter. Right out of the box. Right out of the box. Key. Speaking of box key, let's see what's in this box. So, I think I, I, think I know what this is. I have a pretty good idea. Um, this is, and you know you who you are. Let me see if this person's in here. Sometimes people don't want named. I don't think that he will mind. But the person that sent me this, you you now know that I have it, and I'm opening it. And I want to mention, I want to tell you, thank you. But I want to make sure it's okay first. If you're watching. I know you're in here watching right now, but look at this. Tyler Williams said, how did you miss the hole in the scale? Because I was making the video very, very quickly. I, I was just doing a quick unboxing. I wasn't getting all, because I knew that if I started paying attention to every little detail, it ended up being a 45 minute video. And I did not want to do that. <clears throat> and I don't know why my son always sends me uh, text messages while I'm live because I can't read them. But I'll see the I'll see see the thing pop up on my Friday night. It seems like he always wants to text me during the live stream when he knows I can't read it. It's the weirdest thing. Um, let's see. Okay, so this was sent to the channel by Fluffy Delgado. Thank you, Fluffy. And look at this. I can't wait to see this thing. This is the Jaeger F one eighteen. Yeah, Fluffy Delgado. And I don't want to mess this box up. Let me, let me get the chili pepper. Make sure I don't mess up the box. There we go. Sorry, y'all. I'm doing three things at once, as usual. Uh, 
Um, Hello, these flavors. <laughs> and welcome, new members. What do you say? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was. And uh, you remember. <laughs> Hello, Whitey. Hello, Sarah. Hello, Bees Bladers. Welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. I say that in my sleep. Oh, wow. Look at that. Never seen so many queen bees. Hello, everyone. The queen has arrived. I have. I'm here. She's here. To save the day so I can take a breath. Hi, everyone. Look at that. Adam Adam said, I think she said it better. <laughs> I don't know about that. Now, the real question is, how can everyone hear me tonight? <laughs> Um, Carolina Panthers fan said, Hey bees, I, di I didn't forget about you. A lot of family drama came up. I will ship that out to you soon. Sorry. It's taking a while just now. Oh, so anyway, I just unboxed. I've got so many things going on right now. Don't you always have so many things going on? Yes. <laughs> it's, it's either feast or famine. Craig Hamilton said loud and clear. Yeah. All right. So I'm opening this up from fluffy Delgato and oh, there's a note. Ooh, feels like it feels like I have some heft. Bluminati Ninja. Five doll hairs up in this hive. Thank you, brother. Thank you very much. So let me see what this says. Uh, 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 the nice lady to use. The knife is lightly used with no visible wear. The edge hasn't been touched a stone. It's been stropped. Thank you very much, Fluffy Delgado, for sending this to the channel. Are All new right. Honeycombs? Yeah. Um. Hey, every, everybody. Mrs. Bees hasn't seen the new emojis. Want you to do her a favor and maybe pop all three of them up. That's the you like the honeycomb with the bee on it. I do. And it's nice, isn't it? I mean, it took me a minute to realize what it was, but yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Well, where do you see the other new emojis? Um, Schmuggums! <laughs> <laughs> and fat cat. <laughs> <laughs> and fat cat. <laughs> That's awesome. Isn't that cool? Look at that. That is the coolest thing ever. The first thing I noticed about Schmuggums is just a tongue. So, let's get this out. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, I like that handle. So this is the, uh, before I forget, I'm not going to, I will forget. It's the Jaeger F-118. And there it is in all its glory. Wow, look at that. Oh boy, check out the texture. Miss Duty says, I'm torn. Do I stay in the hive or do I watch the five Kaiser video? Uh, you do both at the same time or after the hive, watch the five Kaiser video. Hi, Robert Vance. And here, here's a, here's a sneak peek, Moose, Moose Duty. Oh, here's, here's the, it's actually six Kaisers, six new Kaisers. Um, let's see. Oh, got an My extra. says I need new glasses. I can't make out two of the emojis. <laughs> one of them is the dog and one of them is the cat. I know. I wish the, mo the emojis could be a little bit bigger, but. Going back to full screen, here is, ooh, yeah, look at that. Look at the finish on that bad boy. That is nice. Wow, you talk about comfortable. Oh, my goodness. Fixed blades. It's comfortable. comfortable. <laughs> Fixed blades have such a comfortable handle. Oh, my goodness. Hi, Iggy. Happy Friday. Mrs. Bees is going to River's Edge Cutlery tomorrow. I am. It's going to be so early. <laughs> eh, it's not going to be. It's not like you have to get up and like get all divvied up or anything. Mattisfaction member for nine months. New York City. 
Maddest faction. Nine months, dude. Holy cow. You say you don't have to get up early and get all divvied up. Yeah, it's like it's like we're like I'm cutting off an arm and a leg, dipping, you know? That's divided. I, I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, it has pretty good, pretty good jimp jimps going on. Hey this... Robert Feely. Oh yeah, I forgot you can actually read comments. I can sometimes, depending on how well my reading skills are. Wow, check this out. Check it out. I check it out, chill. I check it out. I have a lot of crap on the table tonight. Yeah, the table was empty when I started. Bye, Jake. It has a full tank. Jake from Ohio State? Yeah, he said, uh, gotta go. See people tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Jake. Wow, very nice. Very, very nice. Thank you, Fluffy Delgado. I'm hi, gonna Canuck. I'm gonna have fun checking this thing out. Canuck says hi. Hi, Canuck. Member for four months, evening bees and the queen. Canuck. I wish that I could put when when it's uh milestones like that. StreamYard doesn't let you put that up on. It doesn't show up where I can highlight it. That's the only thing that doesn't highlight. That's weird. I know. And we have a new uh, Avery. Big Avery. Is, I believe, the very first ultimate bees keeper. What? The highest tier you can be. What? Yes. That's impressive. It's very, very impressive. Very impressive. He is a ultimate. I mean, he's like taking care of the bees hive. Like, oh. like, oh, he is the keeper of all keepers. Yes. Michael Morgan. Thank you very much. Showing up the white mountain knives for the rake Jaeger. Man, this thing is cool. You know what? Um, That's like a hundred bucks. I think it is a hundred dollars. Avery, Avery doesn't mess around. Uh, let's see. So this has this has an adjustable tension tension right here. This is an adjustable tension uh, screw. Hi, cue ball. Cue ball, cue ball, cue ball. You probably already said hi to him. I just wondered. It's like hi, 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 hi. <laughs> oh yeah, well I said to hi to Pew 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 Very nice. Very, very nice. That is the coolest thing ever. Um, so um, speaking of, oh, it's right here. Oh, so speaking of uh, rake fixed blades. So here's this one. And then I have the one here. Let me uh, keep, keep these, uh, keep these sheathed. I don't want, I don't want to cut myself. I have this one that was a gift to the channel from Iggy. Uh, not the knife, but this awesome sheath, which I forget I have two cameras. This sheath right here, which was made by, oh my goodness, um, something Leathercraft. I'm sorry, I can't remember. That has the has the black with the red, red stuff, the red, uh, what do you call that, stitching. And then it has the bees blades in my font. Is that not the coolest thing ever? But I like their I like their blade style. Let's see, let's do this. I like the blade style. That's very nice. Oh, and hopefully you can catch Tree Stab and Troy said River's Edge Cutlery is only 14 hours. <laughs> I think you start now. Peter Miller said, glad you found. And shout out. Big shout out to Peter Miller. Peter Miller is the one that donated and gave me this knife. He has also donated a bunch of knives that we've done in the giveaways. And this is, this is like one I'm going to keep forever. I absolutely love it. And this is big shout out to Peter Miller. Peter Miller gifted me the knife. And then Iggy gifted me the, the sheath that is that was made for it i mean you guys you guys are are absolutely awesome the the nicest knives the best knives i have are the ones that were gifts check that out is that not the coolest thing ever so awesome andy hayward said i almost chopped the tip of my thumb on the lock while closing my 8015 the other day i believe it i believe it um, who, somebody said I haven't been home on a Friday night in forever. I don't 
Uh, Shane Gables. What's up, Shane Gables? PKR, go and subscribe to Shane Gables. That's another awesome knife channel. So here, uh, let's see. What about a deal? Low better. Deal getter. Yeah. <laughs> Does anyone see a cartoon face in the lamp? Once you see it, you can't unsee it. A cartoon face in the lamp. In the lamp? Um. Um. um now he's got me wondering. I don't know. Uh, Attorney Bailey gave me some belt hairs. I think that's what that is. Oh, Attorney Bailey with the 20 doll hairs. Oh. Dude, thank you very much. 20 doll hairs up in this hive, man. I got $1.99. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm shedding. You got another ping, 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 ping. A ping, 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 ping. I, it, hasn't, it hasn't showed me yet. Thank you very much, Attorney Bailey. And look at that. I love it. The channel, the, I love the new emoji with the bee on the bees hive and the, and the honey pot. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There's a dollar 99 somewhere. Mm -hmm. um, Garland, Bab. Garland, Bab, a little love for the queen. Oh, <laughs> Garland. <laughs> 199 doll hairs up in here. The base of the lamp. Bee. Are you saying it's like a nose and a mouth? It looks like an, Oh, yes. Um, wait a minute. Um, it's uh, Bender. I don't know who Bender is. It's got to be Bender. Who's Bender? Let's see if it's Bender first. Bender. <laughs> Thank you, Attorney Bailey. We have an attorney up in the house. I'll, I'll, if I ever have any problems, I'll give you a call. <laughs> no better deal. No better deal. <laughs> so sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Did he say that's what it was? I don't know. I think he's saying sorry because he pointed it out. Now everyone's Jason Lee EDC said, "Bees, I messaged you back on." Oh, okay. All right. Uh, so I have a couple announcements to make. You, you all will want to pay attention to Bender this one. Says, sorry, listening but playing Halo with my son. Nothing wrong with that. Family time. All right. So here's here's two things. Um, Blue fam says, "Bees, you have a titanium October coming." What? Dude, that is awesome. Uh, titanium Octobers are delayed a few months. Ah, okay. Uh, Tree Stephen Troy says, pizza check. What kind of pizza do we have, Mrs. B's, so I can uh, multitask? We had the Yuji. Uh, we had the Hawaiian with some extra cheese. Light on the sauce. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. The sows. Sow. <laughs> Lou says, Mrs. B's with the clutch reading skills. I don't know if it's clutch. They're so far. It's a good night. It's not gross. A pizza is delicious. Although they were a little more. I don't know. It was weird tonight. It's like they were extra light on the sauce and pineapple. But that's okay. So we, um, a cup, cup, Dwayne oh. Cape had a Taco Bell steak quesadilla and cheese bean, cheesy bean and rice burrito. Who, KC? Uh, Dwayne K. Dwayne K. I like their steak, steak quesadilla. 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 <laughs> Hey, Grumpy Grunt. We're, we're going to see Grumpy Grunt tomorrow. Yeah. So we are we are going to, you know how we do a lot of, we do a lot of giveaways. And I'm, I like to mix it up. And there has been an idea given to me by a top channel supporter. And it is of occasionally doing a tier two giveaway. So we'll do a giveaway and then a tier two giveaway for people that support the channel monetarily. and. We, uh, I always want pizza on Friday nights for some reason. It's tradition. It's tradition, yeah. Tom Weingart said, I'm a sausage and mushroom kind of guy. Ew. 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 So just so you know, from uh, from all the chats, when we were asking what would be a good knife for the giveaway, this is one of the knives all means is good. that's going to be in a future giveaway. It's going to be the Kaiser Sheepdog XL with the carbon fiber scales. 
it has been ordered and it will be in a giveaway coming soon. How about that? We're giving away a XL. Join cases and get a free quesadilla on DoorDash with a $20 purchase. 20, I do love a good DoorDash. A good old DoorDash. It's my faves. You know, sometimes I get on DoorDash because I'm craving something. I put everything in my cart. I go to check out. And then I realize the delivery fee is too expensive. And I say, screw it. <laughs> and I back out. And then I just sit there craving whatever I have in the cart. What is happening? With what? You got a lot of bots. Oh, well, it's all right. As long as people are catching them and kicking them out. Horror movie said, I had saliva and air for dinner because I spent all my money on knives. Thanks, Kaiser. <laughs> Bitcoins in the hive. <laughs> Brian, says, Beer, Beer and bees. bees. Now you can sit back and have a brew. Finally done for the week. Very nice. So, Mrs. B's, we these all all the knives on the table here are new Kaisers, and this Let's one, never be two of them. yeah, this one has a purple thumb stud. Purple. 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 Yeah. Purple. Look at that, and this is what it looks like with the side off of it. Is it purple or is it like burgundy? It that it looks purple to me. I mean, you guys tell me that looks like purple. I'm also sitting at a distance. At a distance. And here's the adjustable clutch lock. Look at that. Five spots. Oh, yeah. Purple. And you can adjust it on each side. If you want the tension more on one side than the other, you can do that. You can adjust. And by the way, it comes with extra, an extra set. All Kaisers come with an extra set of hardware. And this came with two extra Omega Springs. How about that? How about that? How about that? So. Level on that says definitely not burgundy. It's purple. I'm colorblind, okay? No, I'm not. No, you're not. <laughs> um, let's see. I have it's a horrible. screw. So let's do this while you're entertaining them. Am I entertaining? Yep. Uh, Dwayne K says, I expect to see complete disassemble on the drop bear soon, bees. Oh, yeah. You can you can guarantee. You can bet your bottom dollar. Josh Branson says, let's see them again, bees. What do they want to see again? I don't know. That's all it said. Oh, seriously. Jason says, man, I'll trade an organ for that drop bear. So the, I guess I they were available on Kaiser's website when I did the video, but apparently they are not there anymore. Like Mojave. Sold out yeah, well, not. Kaiser will come out. They know they're coming out with an amazing knife that everyone's going to want. But they don't have that many. So it always sells out like in a day or less. Uh, uh, Josh Francis says, new Kaisers. Missed the first part of the show. These lights are ridiculous. Keep flickering on a Oh, lot. here. Use this. Lori, I'm going to have to change. Oh, I didn't say shoot. Turn, turn on. Turn off whichever one you want. Why is it flashing blue? Because um, it's on night mode. Yeah. All right, so let's put this screw back in and I'll show you the new Kaisers. Uh, Pew and McPherson, bees, does the EF bear fly have the same adjustments as the drop, bear drop? God, what kind of names are these? <laughs> yes. um, I really doubt it. I haven't taken it apart to check. My nose is dripping but there's a new bear. Lacey Lace says, Pewie, it does if you drill the holes. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and you know people are going to jump on that bandwagon. I'm just curious how quick Benchmade is going to start drilling holes in their in their uh, liners so they can do the same thing. Brian, the... I said, geez, a lot of knives sell out. Oh, my. Uh, uh, Brian, geez, a lot of knives sell out after four hours after your videos drop. That has been known to happen. Because you're so cool. So here's the drop bear. Jason says the next one should be the man bear pig. The man <laughs> what is that from? Man bear pig? Yeah. I don't know. Is that, is that something? Man bear pig? That's something. Gosh. The action on this. I mean, this this is one I think you would enjoy. This this thing right here. Usually they're kind of hard, the springs are. 
This one. Like, I'm not. It's. Is that the one you were playing with earlier in the kitchen? Uh-uh. Okay. You were playing with one earlier, and I almost stabbed you a bit. <laughs> you're getting a bit ridiculous. So here's the drop bear. Here's the other version. This is the gunmetal drop bear. Goof fam says man bear pig is from South Park. Man bear pig. And this is aluminum scales. And then over here we have the bender, the bender light. Mikey asks, Piggies, did you get an extra purple thumb stud deal? An extra purple thumb stud. I don't think so. The box is upstairs, but I don't think it came with extra thumb studs. No, I don't believe so. And then here's the new, the new mini, uh, mini sheepdog. You'd probably like this color. It's it's a it's called they're calling it red redstone. Uh, yeah, more, <laughs> this is kind of burgundy, and it's in V four. It has V four steel remove. I just learned tonight that it has a removable thumb stud. I made the video so quick I didn't even know the thumb stud was removable, but <laughs> you know it happens. Um, Garland Bab said sold out. Wanted the purple for the niece. Um, did you go check out Kaiser Kaiser.com, Kaiserknives.com? Because if Mojave sold out, that it doesn't mean that they're sold out on Kaiserknives.com. And also, I will, everybody listen, all these new knives that all these new Kaisers, it's been it's been well documented that they'll have knives that come out like these new ones. And they'll sell out, and then a couple days later, they'll they'll appear on Amazon. So if I see them pop up on Amazon, I will let you know right away. So make sure you check the community tab, the Bees Blades community tab. That's where I let you guys know when I see new knives come out. Uh, Tree Seven Troy has a very important question. Okay. Why is the oval blue? We are live in the hive. It should be red. Well, you know, because I have to turn on my tablet. Well, no, I don't. You just push it. Oh, let's Good see. says Amazon sometimes get releases first. Let's see, there's one of the reasons. This is red right now, but because of the lighting, you can't tell that it's red. It looks totally white on the screen. Oh, yeah, it kind of does. Yeah, you can't even tell it's red. So let me see if I turn it up. That, I think that's why I did that is because you can't really tell. Um, I have a very important announcement. Okay. I just wanted to say hi to Top Dog. <laughs> <laughs> hi, Top Dog. Um, Robert Vance says, pow, pow, trolls eliminated. Thank you very much. Thank you. Here is the Kaiser, the Kaiser Big Lighter XL, and boy, is it a beauty. Look at this. It is. It's a four inch blade. That's what she said. And then the drop bear. Let's see. We'll do this. So there's the drop bear compared to the. Hi, <laughs> Dwayne K. How are you this evening, sir? Sir. I'd like some more, sir. <laughs> Thank you, sir. May I have another? Here's the big lighter. Golly. Oh, says, I really like that XL. Just my style and size. Yep, there you go. Here's here's the regular bag lighter. Tree Stab and Trice says it looks red to me. I didn't know you could change your color by clicking it. Learn something new every day. Yeah, you can you can click it, you can click it just on the surface. Just by clicking the bottom. Or you can use the app to make it do whatever you want. And of course, it's not going to show up really well on the on the screen. I have stuff coming in the mail next week. Huh? What? Did you know about this? No. What? I don't think I did. I think that's pretty cool. So just to show you all real quick, in case you in case you missed it, um, here it's the, one of the easiest apps to use in the world. Ola, the Obold Pro. You just tap on the O bulb. I'm looking forward to it, top dog. Woo, woo. And there's your options. So I can just go right here and tap red, and it'll be on red. And then I can turn up the brightness. Let's see if I turn up the brightness if that helps it look more red. Oh, that's very bright. Oh boy, it it is very very. Oh, it's green. 
You just can't see it because of the, the way the lights work. Oh, there we go. Look at that. There, now you can see it. I keep changing the colors. Well, stop it. Yeah, I guess it's kind of red now. I can make it cycle. Ah, colors. Multicolors. Butch Cassie says, I'm going to give O-Bulbs for Christmas. Oh, O-Bulbs are the coolest thing. They really are. Oh, that's clear. What? So we'll we'll do a little a little bit of the color change. Yeah, it just it doesn't do it justice. You can see some of the colors, but you can't see some of the other ones. I was just trying some out there for a minute. I did too. Very odd. Very odd. I don't know. Maybe maybe it'll adjust. Maybe it's okay. You're not reading this is bees. I'm sorry, I'm distracted. Very distracted. All right. So the knife, the did you guys, if you're if you're just getting in the stream, we we've uh we've talked about the knives that were on the channel this week. And just giving you a rundown, these we'll obviously talk about more and we're gonna come back to. This is the Kaiser Kaiser uh, Beglider XL. And I did a, new, a video, I dropped a video tonight about, about 7.30. So if you haven't seen that, on six new Kaiser knives, here's the Kaiser Beglider XL. And then the Kaiser button lock, Beglider Button Lock. Is Grumpy You leaving Grumpy? Mojave eBay store has one bear with purple left, it says. Oh, I forgot about eBay. Mojave, people forget about that. When you, when you see me show a knife, I, I never think to tell people about the eBay store. Mojave has the same knives on eBay. I never think to tell people that. I bet you's gone now. EDC Neo, hello. Said I have the O bulb. I put it on the car top and make it flash like a police car. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, Matt Action says, "Bees, how do people on iPhone join channel?" Um, people on iPhones should have the join button now. As far as I know, somebody with a with an iPhone, let me know. But as far as I know, you can join with an iPhone. If not, all you have to do is go to Safari and open up YouTube through Safari and not not through the app. And then you can go to Bees Blades and you'll see the join button. Is that Zachariah? Is that how you say his name? Yep. Says satisfaction. Throw away the iPhone and get an Android. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's a way to do it. This is the Trevisa, and I already forgot the name of it. Um, somebody help me out. What is this new Trevisa? Oh my gosh, I just drew a blank. It, oh, it's the Centauri, the Centaurus, the Sin 06 Trevisa. Chris S says, What's the sexy tie knife? Tie. <laughs> knife on the table. Uh, they're talking about this one right here. I say tie. <laughs> titanium <laughs> and i learned earlier tonight what the name of this pattern is called but i can't remember what it is now but I, action, were you actually asking for a friend or were you really asking for you and saying it was for a friend because <laughs> he said okay awesome i was asking for a friend yeah as far as i know i uh, kind of let down it wasn't sharp yeah josh uh you know i imagine that it's 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 done by done by man, so man is is fallible. I don't need to clean this blade off. He says I was. It was for Lancelot. Lancelot leather. Oh, speaking of Lancelot. Night grumpy. Night Tomorrow. grumpy. Everyone was saying how the sides of this looks like a Wi-Fi signal, and now that's all I see. It looks like it has a bunch of Wi-Fi signals on it. Does it? I can't see from the signal. Oh, this is cool. Yeah. That's 
But I tell you what, I do love. I don't see him. I hope he's okay. Don't see who. Don't see who. Really? Wi-Fi knife battles buffering. He was here, Lacey. Hey, D Metal, where, where you at? D Metal, yeah, D Metal was here. Japanese fan pattern. Is it a lady's knife? I wouldn't say it was a lady's knife. I'd say it's anyone's knife. Don't you know me? I don't know. Do we know you? It says, did I miss the giveaway? Uh, no, you did not. Powder cases. Why does my tablet only show 88 likes? Ooh, that came out weird. Sometimes you have to close out of it and come back in, and I'll show you. Uh, or or refresh. Uh, somebody write in there for uh, to tell people to refresh. Yeah, LS was one of the people that brought it up that it looks like Wi-Fi because I didn't even realize it until folks in the in the stream brought it up, and I was like, oh my gosh, it does look like Wi-Fi. Um, there's quite a few folks going, uh, uh, Eastern folks, Jake from Ohio state's going grumpy grunt is gr going Byron Kennedy is going. Um, I don't, I'm not sure if tri-state is going or not. I know he could because he's pretty close. Zadikim said there's only been 209 cool people in the stream. Is that how many likes we have? We ought to get to 250 likes. You already know that. Blade Show West, I'll be there. Blade Show West. Um, definitely, everybody. If you're if you're just getting in here, go and sub subscribe to Mattis Faction. He's an awesome channel, awesome dude. I got to hang out with him during Blade Show. Yeah, yeah. And here is, um, look at this. Look at this blade. This thing. Are you planning? tomorrow morning um uh i i could let you guys see what it looks like i imagine it's going to be a big crowd and i know um i may i may video it and then show it on the live stream um i hadn't really thought about it i don't know what it'll it'll look like Level on that said, i was placed on timeout and i have no idea why um sometimes it's done by accident don't don't take any offense to it um, the only thing I could imagine is if there was a lot of like heavy cursing because we try to keep it family friendly, but or whatever it is, don't worry about it. Unless the comment came in the midst of the bots. Well, it could have been when all the bots were happening and you accidentally got tapped. It happens. Don't worry about it. Are the thumb studs the same on the big layer tonto? As what? I don't know. That was the. Are the thumb studs the same? Um, let's see. It looks like one of them is. It looks like you can remove the thumb thumb studs. Here is. No, they are different. The thumb studs are bigger. Well, here's the button lock. Here's the button lock, bag lighter. And here's the thumb stud. They're smaller. And here's the thumb stud. On the Tonto. Uh, Todd Carr says, do a quick live while uh, REC tomorrow. We could try, but you might not hear anything. What's going on there tomorrow? Is there it's like it's their grand opening. Okay. They they just rebuilt they rebuilt a new place. Gotcha. I knew it was something. I just couldn't remember what. And this, uh, I have to say, there's folks that there's folks that do and folks that don't like EF knives, but if you do, this one right here is probably one of the nicest ones they've put out. Jason says, whoever mentioned the drop bear on eBay, I love you. <laughs> Who? Uh, Jason. Jason got one? How about that? It's Sega High Motif. Motif. Manny Z said the pattern is Sega High Motif. Sega High, yeah, that's what I was being schooled on earlier, and I, I couldn't remember what it was. Jason said last one. But here, here's the EF966. Uh, it is a uh, $27 awesome knife. And here's a, here's a little note on EF knives, okay? I've spoke directly to the owner. 
They do not have the same OEM they used to. So the knives that came out that didn't have the correct steel and that people complained about and things like that. And when there were copies, clones, um, those were a different OEM. EF guarantees their steel. They welcome it to be tested. All of their new knives, all their 900 series, um, they're all like this one here. It says D2. They they stand behind it. They have a, they've had a new OEM. So if you've got any of their newer knives, at least the 900 series, they are going to be D2. They're going to have a, a rock a hardness test of, you know, they're going to be around 58 to 60, somewhere in that, in that, that field. So they guarantee that if you get a knife and there's something wrong with the steel, they will replace it. No questions asked. Because oh, nice. folks, folks used to get EF knives and they, they way back in the day got a bad reputation for their steel. And then folks started, you know, dogging them for it. So they got a new owner and upgraded. They, they upgraded. And now they're putting out knives like this with an awesome sharpening choil. $27. Some pretty decent looking micarta. Good action. Cut test, it three cut test it three times. Yeah, I wish I had time to do cut testing. And something else I wish I had is a, a hardness tester. Wait, dot, dot, dot. I have a note. <laughs> <laughs> um, just so you know, my glasses are dirty. <laughs> In case you are wondering. Can you please change the logo billboarding? Oh, yeah. That, that is definitely something good to ask them. What's wrong with that? Um, putting, putting big things uh, on the blade. It's kind of a turn off. Yeah, it is. It, it, makes, it makes any knife. Even expensive knives that have a bunch of billboarding Kind of it. It's like it looks like something you get at a gas station. I mean, wasn't there a knife that had a bunch of like they wrote really big down the blade or something? Yeah, handle. yeah. I mean, there's there's a lot of them that do it. It just it takes away from the clean clean look of the knife. Lacey Lace said, "Please, I work sixty hours a week, have two kids, but I make time. LOL. I want." A HRC tester so bad. Oh, tell me about it. I would love to have an HRC tester. And here's the thing. If you had an HRC tester, then when, when you told people what something tested, they'd be like, well, you didn't, you didn't calibrate it. <laughs> You'll never, never please people, but it would be awesome. Acetone should take off the billboard. Really? I'm going to have to try that out. <laughs> I didn't know that. So apparently you can take stuff off the, the side of a knife with acetone. That is interesting. Very interesting. I have to say this, the drop bear is really cool. The button lock bed lighter is just a total win. How much is the top left one? The, is the top left one? The, the top left one is, this is the bed lighter XL. Somebody in the chat helped me out. How much is the Beg Lighter XL? They're probably still available. Not everyone likes a, a large full-size knife. I got to say, it is so freaking comfortable. Oh, my goodness. What was that thumping? What is happening upstairs? I don't know. I think he should be in the cage when we're doing live streams. I'm going to go check on him real quick. Okay. That makes me nervous. The, this, I like this Beg Lighter XL. For some reason, for some reason, I like it a little better then I do this one. This one has a little bit of the shadow box look going on. I think what it is, is this one is so drop shutty. Whereas this one is just a little bit slower because it has, uh, it has the stone wash. It has a really nice look to it. Look at that stone wash. Would you look at it? Just look at. Oh man, this, this is comfortable. Todd Carr said, it depends if it's printed or etched or laser. It will take off printed stuff. Okay, gotcha. What's up, Lee Turner? Vu Fam said, uh, I love knives four inch blade, nine inches overall. Yep, this is a, a nine incher, baby. Four inch blade. It, here is the 
the button lock X, the but the button lock bag lighter. And then let me put this one in frame. So there's the bag lighter XL, and here's the bag lighter button lock. Quite a difference. This one will disappear and hide behind it. No problem. Two absolute awesome. <laughs> I got to be careful. I didn't want to hit the blades. Two awesome button locks. Zadikim, can you please do a size comparison between the Drop Bear and the Kaiser Original? Yes. And I will do that on the knife cam. That way you can get. Let's do this on the knife cam. Moving stuff around. So here's the drop bear. And here's the Kaiser original. There you go. So the drop, but the drop bear is more girthy, <laughs> a little more girth on the old drop bear. Well, that Bitcoin is really trying. So there's there's some more girth to it, and then the blade is is a little a uh, little heftier. It feels he it it definitely feels a lot more hefty in the hand. Let me turn up the knife cam light and see if that makes a difference. Nope. The camera automatically adjusts. <laughs> Darn auto cameras. So trying to put them pivot to pivot. Uh, let's see. There you go. Yeah. Th this, this one is like when you're feeling beefier, this one feels like a, a smaller, it smells, it smells, it feels like a small fixed blade. It really does. It just feels so solid gosh it feels so solid yeah the stone wash gives a little bit of resistance i kind of like it how's the kaiser original versus bentley <laughs> what was he doing Zesty with them, trying to play. Cat didn't want anything to do with it. Ah. Uh, you don't know me. He said, what happens if I'm not in the stream during the giveaway? I have to wake up at 5 a.m. Oh, geez. Um, well, you know what? Since you want to definitely be in the giveaway and you have to get up so early, we'll do one. Who asked that? Um, you don't know me. Ask that. So, let's see. <laughs> what? Alan finally got smart and came downstairs. Kitty, kitty, kitty. So uh, the giveaway, I don't have all um, it. I don't have any giveaways put together. That's how crazy tonight was. I, <laughs> I do have a knife for a giveaway though. You'll show a knife and it'll be a surprise pack. Yes, you're gonna get a a bodacious, a bodacious amount of swag. It, and if you're new to the channel. You can ask anyone here. You will get some serious swaggage. And if Mrs. B's wants to come over and talk to you, I can put it together real fast. Yeah, I think it should be a surprise. <laughs> she doesn't want to. Mm. Pizza giveaway. Pizza giveaway. Yeah, we'll give away some pizza. You might be broke by the time you get it. All right. So is is Canuck in here? Uh, What's up, cue ball? Giveaway pizza. Yeah. Bentley, a.k.a. Girth Brooks. <laughs> I love it. No, I did not say drop bear giveaway. <laughs> no, I said Mrs. B's. No, I just think I said that. Oh. Good looks here. I don't know why. Oh, okay. Yeah, a little bit. Um, here is, this is, this was donated by Canuck. For a giveaway, you're going to get a bunch of swag. Unhide who? Unhide who? Who's hidden? I don't know who's hidden. Uh, ooh, I don't know. Somebody hidden somebody. 
Um, if someone's hidden, aren't they only hidden for like 300 seconds? 300 seconds. So they're, they're not going to miss anything. I guess they're out for 300 seconds if somebody accidentally got hidden. Mikey Knives was hidden. Ah. So this was donated to the giveaway by Canuck. Thank you very much, Canuck. And it is a brand new QSP. Look at that. Have a knife day. A brand new QSP. And I can't remember which one it is. <laughs> it's the... Oh, geez. Canuck, you know what it is. I can't remember the name of it. I don't think you can un undo somebody who's been uh, hidden. Who's been hidden? Yeah. Q-Ball said, I fat-fingered his name when trying to hide the bot. Ah, <laughs> now I get it. Well, if it's 300 seconds, that's how many minutes? Five? Q-Ball says, I'm a horrible mod. I know one thing. I, I don't understand why I don't get texts all day. And on Friday evenings, everyone texts me. Because everyone loves you. This QSP right here. Did Connect tell us what it is? Oh, you guys know what this is. I got distracted. Brand new. Out of the box, QSP. Ooh, some people are saying otter, parrot. I think it's the parrot. Parrot. Brand new. Still has the oil on the blade. Hey, Prado. The parrot. So you got Mike your... Scott says a knife. It's a knife. Um, so this is the parrot giveaway. And let me pull something up here. Uh, that's why you'd be locked up. <laughs> Will you read Mrs. B's? Uh, section says, Q ball, you're supposed to be the nice one. Uh, Chris S. and Dwayne K. say, very, very nice. Uh, Lacey Lace says, Q doll is the wonderfulest mod. Uh, people are saying thanks to Canuck. Warren says, everyone needs a parrot as long as it doesn't talk back. Oh, um, oh my golly. We're going to lock him up next week. Can we just go up there and Okay. Are you doing a? We're getting ready to do a giveaway here in a second. Number or a... Uh, we're gonna do the the cool one. Give me just a second, guys. I'm gonna put up a banner telling you what to do. Yeah, Mrs. Bees has got. She's got to put the dog in his crate. As soon as she gets back, this giveaway is going. Brent Irwin shipping. Also, haven't seen the. Amara hair tonight. Oh, thank you very much, Brent. Mrs. Bees will be back here in just a minute. We'll do this giveaway. Thank you very much. There is your crazy Amara hair. Thank you for throwing some honey up in this hive. Thank you very much. Very much appreciated. That is awesome, dude. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for help with the shipping, Brent. Thank you, Brent. Travis Kirk, member for nine months. It's an honor to be able to participate in the live tonight. I know I speak for everyone here when I say thank you for all that you and Mrs. B do. do. Wow, dude, thank you. Thank you to both of you, Travis Kirk, for nine months. And Brent Irwin. I know. I, it's a hard we we should have learned our lesson. Well, you know, don't hate the game, hate the participants. <laughs> all right. Am I, am I writing something? Oh, I, I think I already did it. Did you? Yeah. What would you pick? Well, if we get to 250, how close are we to 250 likes? I don't know. Or is there going to be a bonus giveaway tonight? Let, let's do this one. Um, let me put it up here because everyone is. Didn't you? All right. Ooh, you got venom flies up there. Gallivanting. <laughs> We're at 238. Oh, yeah. We, we'll get to that bonus giveaway. Um, all right. I'm getting ready to show you guys what you got to type, and you'll be entered. Oh, just kidding. 241. Oh, yeah. We're going to get the extra one. Mark Barron says, 
because these blades is the best. And <laughs> uh, Chris Bird is telling you to attack it more. There's 30 minutes left. I cannot do that. And you guys have been blowing up the uh, <laughs> the chat. I, I cannot do it. And fortunately, I missed it. Shout out to Chris Bird. Mike Morgan says, whose birthday was it? I, I wish you guys would please quit group texting because you're screwing with my camera. You would. They're the ones that keep, I like, they're just blowing up my screen and there's nothing I can do. Thank you very much, guys, for the, for the, oh my gosh, please quit texting back and forth. They're screwing up my camera. Is that why your screen keeps blinking? Yes, they are literally the reason why my screen keeps blinking out. No. There you go. Type in that what what's down here in that hashtag right there, and you'll be entered in this giveaway. It's the motto of the year for Kaiser. You're welcome, Vu fam. You're very welcome. Avery, I can't do airplane mode. That's how the camera works. I, I have to, I can't have it in airplane mode. Silence the group, then it won't come through. Uh, well, that's kind of hard to do. I, I That's a, a lot of finagling. <laughs> you know what's funny, though? What? Because you're not answering back in the group text. He got on your live. I know. Just to tell you to well, attack. do they think I could seriously? <laughs> st I can't stop my. Uh... That's good stuff. I know. Vu fam, Vu fam, action for you! Thank you, Vu fam. I'm trying to think of what the I don't know. It's plastic. Like it's a, it's rectangular and there's like a sponge in the middle. I don't, know. I don't either. I don't even know where he would have gotten it. And you you only, you only have to type this once to be entered in the giveaway. My bad. And yeah, that was a lot going on for me to try to to keep the stream going and pay attention to it once. Um, so you only only enter once because it's not doing it more than once isn't going to count. Just letting you guys know, just one time. You don't have to keep doing it. It, it, will, it will not count it more than once. So I think everyone's getting getting it in, and we're going to do this giveaway. But you only have to do it one time. And I'm going to share the screen. And just for Kaiser and for Vu fam, it's action for you. All right, you guys ready? I think just about. Hey, what's up, Honey Bear? Savannah Rose got in there. Todd Carr, you can put airplane mode, then enable Wi Fi and Bluetooth. That way, you just your cell data and voice from cell towers will turn off. I got you. Um, does it have to be perfect? No, it doesn't have to be perfect. It could be big or little letters. It doesn't matter. Um, Mark Ridgewell, what's up? Got some new people in here. All right, here we go. Here we go. I'm getting ready to pick. Everyone's had plenty of time, and here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. And it is Mike Garvey. Congratulations, Mike. Dude, you are a winner. Winner, winner. You won the QSP Parrot and a bunch of swag. There'll be all kinds of stuff in there. Email me, beesblades at gmail.com. Today is the 5th. Congratulations, the mug of the week. <laughs> Mike, congratulations, brother. Don't forget, you have to email me and let me know if your real name is different than your screen name. I need to know what your name, your real name, your address is so I can send it to you. I don't do anything else with your information. Congratulations, brother. I'm being told the battle for you. 
Are you really? <laughs> I don't think you want that to happen. Probably not. I would do it. I would do it on my uh, tablet if my tablet would let me. I don't know if my tablet's probably so outdated. But I don't know. At, is is Chris still in the chat? I don't know. How did you just hear what? He messaged me. Seriously. Uh -huh. So any so for all of you that might be wondering what we're talking about. What we're talking about. <laughs> We're talking about Clash of Clans. <laughs> I have been playing Clash of Clans for Ever. like nine years since Clash of Clans came out. Um, Steve Sweeney said, I want to win Schnicker, Schnickers. Val Kilmer is the winner. Um, so I've been playing Clash of Clans for nine years. And we are in an Ohio cl Clash or Ohio clan. And we are right now, it is a, uh, a battle where each day there's a battle. And I'm curious, Chris, how many minutes are left? Top Dog says, we did get a second giveaway, like second breakfast. Michael Morgan said, what, bees? C-O-C, I'm in there. What? Michael Morgan plays Clash of Clans? We are first Ohio. First Ohio. Join the Clash. Join the clan. <laughs> that is awesome. Loosting says I used to play Clash of Clans. How about that? We have some some people. I've been playing it so long, and my my base is is maxed out, and I literally go on there every day just to get my my uh my stuff in. Beaver Baron says I've been playing for six years. I'm Baron in the Thunder, Thunder Powders Pounders. Um, I am O. Let's see, O apostrophe Brian O'Brien. And we are in First Ohio. Just look up First Ohio, and that is our our clan. What are they saying, Mrs. Bees? Uh, I am currently in something else. Lacey Lay said, "Still have my accounts from way back then and play all the time. I will cry when BattleNet closes the D2 servers. Unable to connect with the server. Check your internet connection." So I'm about to show you all. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, Dwayne K, it's called Clash of Clans. And yes, I've been playing it forever. I told Chris, I said, I don't think y'all would need a, a pack. Oh, yeah, you know what? Mrs. B's probably could. Hey, Ken Faulkner said we hit 252 likes. You guys are going to get a bonus giveaway. He said it can't be any worse than zero stars. Th this is true. I told him we were going to check on your tab. Yeah, that, that's the only way that could happen. Um, I'll show you in a second. I can't do the update. My uh, tablet's too old. Uh, I don't think it'll let me. It says there's an update available and then it won't let me. It might uh, something to do with my old tablet. Okay. I did the best I could with my tablet. Okay. <laughs> well, I, I don't think it's, I don't think it's the tablet's fault. I think it's something I mean, that I did I wrong. Could download it on my phone for you to log in and battle real quick if you wanted to. Yeah, you could. I would I would do it. I mean, I'm not going to battle, but... Battle, battle. Ken Faulkner said it's bonus time. Steve Sweeney said First Ohio was a prominent regiment in the Civil War. Oh. So, putting out the knives that were on the channel this week. <laughs> back to business. Back to business. With all of this Kaiserness and some more Kaiserness. And the drop bears, which... Sold out in a day. Again, I'm away from the chat, so. You're on your own. You're still away from the chat? I am. I'm downloading new Clash of Clans. Oh, okay. Oh, so we're both doing it. <laughs> our our Wi-Fi is kicking booty tonight. Okay. Joseph Langford, Bees, do you have a favorite brand of knife? Yes, I do. Not at all. Dun, 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 dun. I think Mrs. Bees even knows that answer. Well, I don't think I know she knows. Uh, someone asked you if you had a favorite football team. Um, and I forget who it was. I I would just have to say the Bengals because they are local, and that's the ones I've always noticed. I'm not I'm not a big sports fan. I do like watching like the Super Bowl and stuff like that. So Clash of Clans is updating right now. 
What time is the next giveaway? Uh, Arnold, we're going to be doing it here very shortly, very shortly. So hang tight. Um, Dwayne Case said, I swear that white Beglider XL button lock is calling my name. Tell it to stop. I just bought an e X EXO. Oh, wow. Yeah, EXOs are on sale at White Mountain Knives. Oh, I'm not showing dual. White Mountain Knives has the EXO right now. And uh, Zadikin's more of a Spiderco guy. Ken Fogner said, $10 here is for going late so the West Coast can make the live. Dude, thank you, Ken. Uh, um, it's installing. Do you want this? Uh, hold on. I think we got it. Just hold on, though. It'll just take that much longer. Thank, thank you very much, Ken. Okay. Ken Faulkner. Got ten doll hairs. Uh, there it is. We're going late, so the West Coast can be in on it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Ken. Thank, thank you, Ken. So this... Is Clash of Clans uh -huh. right there in the big screen? Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. So, if Mrs. B's will help me by helping with the chat, I'm gonna help my friends. Where can I find the Kaiser Sheepdog with the hole in the flipper? The red one. Um, this, this, the red one should be this one should be. Um, if it's not on Mojave Outdoor, I know it's on Kaiser. KaiserKnives.com. Um, Mission Discovery says when the CJRB Pyrite releases, can you do a comparison to the original? Uh, yeah, if I get them. If I get them in. Jeremiah says, hi, how's it going? What's up, Jeremiah? Uh, Michael Scott says, Seattle, Washington in the house. Uh, knife collector. I love Kaiser too, but if I had an unlimited budget, I would get every version of the Nimble. I oh, yeah. I love the Nimble. Mm -hmm. Lacey Lace says, I can't wait for the fat carbon feldspar release. I'm buying the blue and red faux show. Um, hi, Sarah. Jeremiah says I'm from... Make sure they can hear you. I'm pretty sure they can. Uh, uh, Blue Fan says, Top Dog, I think that link doesn't work. Uh, let's see. Q-Ball says, Linwood, oh boy. Takes me back. Linwood? Linwood. What's that? From uh, Seattle, Washington. Or Washington area. Zadokan says, Bees, what's your favorite Hogue? Um, I, I haven't had one, so I couldn't say. Chris S says loud and clear. Like me loud and clear. Clear and loud. So I'm going to help out my peeps. <laughs> Mrs. Mrs. B's, if you have a question for Mrs. B's, now is the time. You have... For me specifically? Yeah. Do you have any questions for Mrs. B's about knives or knives, knives on the table or something like that? Because... Um, let's see. Let's see. Craig, Craig says, just saying hi. Hope everyone is well. Health keep me down. Health keeping me down lately. Oh no. Well, I hope you feel better or get better. Uh, uh, uh Tree Stab and Troy wants to know what I carried today. I carried nothing because I lived in sweatpants on the couch all day. <laughs> I did not move. Um, Mrs. Bees, what's a knife that Mr. Bees loves that you absolutely hate? Um, I don't think I hate any of them, really. I mean, there's some I just like, but I don't think I hate any of them. I mean, he has so many, it's hard to keep track. Michael Morgan says, name the clan and player, please. Uh, what's my favorite knife? Probably my nimble. I do love my nimble. I carry it almost every day. 
Um, Richard says, do you have a video review up on your channel for Mrs. B's Nimble? I can't find it. I went through all the videos. Um, no, I don't. And the reason why is because there are 750,000 Nimble reviews. And I don't, I think at this point, the Nimble has been, has been reviewed, uh, just like, like crazy. And by the way, um, just so you guys know, in case Chris or any of you guys are watching, we needed three stars to win. And if you'll look right here, you'll see what's happening. During the live stream, we needed three stars for our clan to win. And I'm going down to the corner and look at that. Perfect. Three stars during a live stream for the win. <laughs> uh, there you go. <laughs> You're welcome. Nerd alert. Nerd alert. <laughs> New best. There we go. We did it. The uh, which which one's he talking about? The bottom knife. Yeah. Okay. So this this is the EF nine six six. It's twenty seven dollars, and I think this is probably one of the the best modern type knives they put out. It's it's not a big heavy like. EF knives are typically very hefty knives, like overbuilt heavy knives. This is a more EDC friendly knife. It has great action. You can use just your thumb. This one I was thoroughly impressed with. It has a reversible pocket clip. It's not deep carry, but you can put other pocket clips on there. Only nerds are fooled. These are the weird ones. <laughs> Has a, has a pretty decent clip. The clip works well. It's a very strong clip, but I'm pretty sure you can put like a Civivi clip on there or a replacement clip. Only nerds are cool. Lacey Lace. Oh, yeah. Flea market knives. Yeah. Yeah. A hold has some of the same. Um, Chop Hard says, um, I don't. Yeah, I, I get it. I totally understand. But they uh, they have a new OEM. They stand 100 percent by their by their steel. They guarantee it. And there's a lot of folks that collect them, and a lot of folks that enjoy seeing them, and a lot of folks that want to know what what are coming out. And that's one of the reason why I show them because it's a great knife. And if you lose it, or if you want to practice, if you want to practice on doing mods or anything like that, I mean, what's better than an EF knife to practice? putting jimping or putting a thumb hole in or whatever. Uh, Michael Morgan sent you a friend request from Maverick 2 on Call of Duty. Ah, nice. So Call, Call of Duty. Duty. <laughs> you know what I mean. Uh, B for Baron said, I play Clash Royale also. Do you? I did for a short while, but then I, I could only, because I have three, uh, three accounts on Clash of Clans, and I used to keep up with those. And then when I started the channel, I had to stick to just my main, my main uh, account. Joseph says, bees, what keychain knives do you like? Keychain knives. Um, well, I would, I would have to say if it's a keychain knife, it'd probably be a, a classic SD. Good keychain knife would be one that I always have on my keychain. I always have a classic SD. Here's the Shabazz, the Nick Shabazz Classic SD. Mrs. B's always has one of these on her keychain. And I, I have a few. I, I collect these now. Not that I have a lot of them. Mrs. B's has more than I do. I have four. Um, uh, let's see. That is, oh, that is so funny. What? Uh, that I just three-starred during the live. That's just crazy. <laughs> And here's one from Hawaii Knife and Gear. Go, if you want to get some of this awesome, uh, uh, I can't remember what it's called. This wood from Hawaii. This is from Hawaii Knife and Gear. Hawaii Knife and Gear. Hawaii Knife and Gear. And then I have it in the the holder from Lancelot Leather. Go check out Lancelot Leather. If you want to, if you want to support some some uh, local, not local, some 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 folks that are in the EDC crowd. 
go to EDC Roundtable on Instagram and you can go and get you some Lancelot leather products and you can get you some, there, there's a bunch of products on there. You get you, I, the beard bomb that I have in my beard right now is from said Stevie. I bought that off the EDC Roundtable. Oh, light night claw is a nice. Oh, yeah, I haven't had that one. That one looks pretty neat. Koa wood. Koa wood, yes, Koa wood. And seeing it in person, it looks a lot better. But it's it kind of refracts the light. It looks really cool. You look really cool. All right, so we're we're gonna do a bonus giveaway. I got to remember. It says if you tried out the Kaiser Corbett. Cormorant. Oh, the comet. Yes, I have. <laughs> Did I say that wrong? Um, I'm not sure what you said. <laughs> My reading skills are declining. <laughs> That's good shit. Oh, sorry. Here, boss. Where is the Kaiser comet? I don't know. I'm spiraling. I have the Kaiser cozy. <gasps> I have the yes. hiccup. Where's the comet? <laughs> yes, I have. I just don't know where it's at at the second. Moofam says, Mrs. B's with a reading fail. Yep. <laughs> don't judge me. All right, we're gonna do a bonus. Get we're gonna do a bonus giveaway. Uh, that's good stuff. Let me grab a knife for this while Mrs. B's reads. <laughs> What is that? What is that? I read that one correctly this time. What is that, Avery? <laughs> uh, Jeremiah, I got, I got the new all-black textured Malibu yesterday. Oh. <laughs> oh. It's an old-school spider coat, according to Avery. My Malibu is upstairs. I've carried it the last couple days and I've been using it for opening packages and stuff. I love the, the Malibu and I, I loved it when I got it and I loved it even more after I put a fresh edge on it. So question. No, I do not own any ballast songs. How bad is it if you put your knife through the washing machine? Ooh, it's probably not good. Um, it depends on what the steel is. It just needs just needs cleaned. Which one went through the washing machine? Um, <laughs> Your nimble? No, it wasn't one. <laughs> oh, geez. I don't know why you don't take knives out of your pocket. I do usually. <laughs> as long as it doesn't sit so it can rust. I mean, what? Sounds like one of my knives went through the washing machine. Lube it. I mean, it looks super clean. It opens easy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Mrs. Freak Show says she washed her Pro Tech Auto. Oh, my. Hi, Mrs. Freak Show. That one. Oh, okay. <laughs> this this one will be totally cool. Yeah, it's just so flippy. So, Mrs. B's washed... Uh, she washed and laundered my mini chatal, my own O knife mini chatal, and it is none worse for wear. It looks really good. It's very clean, <laughs> fabricy fresh. <laughs> Did it go through the dryer too? No. Oh, uh, you found it after the washer. Well, what happened? Well, what happened was I was pulling stuff out of the washer and I heard a clink, and I'm like, "What was that?" Uh, Thinking that it was change because your pants were also in the wash. And then I saw that and I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I put it on top of the dryer hoping that you wouldn't know, but I told him. I well, see, Avery, he said his Tenacious has been through the wash more than he can care to admit. <laughs> Dude, Tenacious is is awesome. It's Tenacious. I love my Tenacious. It's what got me into this awesome world. Okay. I um, usually do check pockets. Stacy Bolsterblade said, I thought you did all the laundry bees. He does his laundry. I do my laundry. Mrs. B's does her laundry. I, we used to do them all together, but then you have to do the separating and it's just a pain in the butt. You sep okay. You 
everything separating is a pain in the butt, but you have to separate your stuff from mine. I just throw them in one pile. Um, I Love Knives had a 20 CV smock went through the wash recently. He was all good. So it sounds like a lot of people have done this. <laughs> hey, Steve Swinney. Yeah, you're right. It's it's wrinkle free. It's a very clean O knife. <laughs> Joseph says, Mrs. B's heard something in the washer and said, well, would you look at that? <laughs> and then I said, uh-oh. <laughs> Yeah, I have yet to put any of my knives in the wash. Just yours. <laughs> you still want me to borrow your knives? Well, I don't mind. All right, we're going to do the bonus <laughs> giveaway. Says, at least she doesn't have to look at your skin marks, please. Yep. <laughs> That's why all of all of my uh, all of my skivvies are different colors anyway. Andy Hayward said, I found someone's knife in a laundromat once. Your skin marks are different colors? Yeah, they're different colors. You need to get that checked That's out. what happens when you eat Fruit Loops, right? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> um, so, Mrs. Pow, right, right in the washer. Pow, right in the washer. Um, okay. Well, I have two. Uh, we, we just give me one. Huh? <laughs> um, like the fruit? Yeah. Oh, okay. That was what I was going to say the first time, but then now I just thought of a different one. I also said, go see the doctor. Oh, boy. All right, so we, we are going to do a giveaway here. Hey, what's up, Lancelot? Huh. Boo fan says I treat my blade with bacon grease. Tell me I'm, do tell me I'm doing it wrong. Eh, I can't tell you that. All right, we're going to do another giveaway, and we're going to have a new word. I'm getting ready to pop it on the screen. And all you got to do to be entered is type exactly what you're getting ready to see. And it doesn't matter what font, whether it's uh, capitalized or not. So in this giveaway, before I tell you what it is. I need the dump tray from uh, Lancelot. So in this giveaway, you're going to get a bunch of swag, ton of swag, like you always get on the Bees Blades channel. And besides the swag, you're going to get, I figured out since, since you guys have been so awesome tonight and been so much fun and everybody that's hung out and waited, your hand looks really tan. it does look very tan. I like the lighting on it. <laughs> <laughs> so for everybody that's waited and hung out, you're going to get a Kaiser, a brand new Kaiser. Let's see what it is. Kaiser. Vanna, tell them what she's won. So you're going to get swag. And you're going to get this, which I bought specifically to do in a giveaway. I bought it a little while back. A brand new. What is it? Kaiser T1. T1. Yeah. Would you look at it? Brand new. Look at that. Beautiful micarta. This is one of my favorite micartas. Oh. Fan says, who needs that? Yeah. Would you look at that? I got this just to do on a random giveaway, and tonight felt like a good night. And I think what I'm going to do next the next week or the week after, I'm going to I have some budget blades that I might do like two knives in a giveaway. And before we give this away, I am going to mention if you have any knives that you got and maybe don't care for, or if you want to donate a knife to the Friday night giveaways, the we always always accept plenty of them. We like to do giveaways. Sometimes we do a lot. Sometimes we do a couple. Tonight we're doing a couple. Um, my address is in the description of every video and every live stream. If you want to send something to my address, uh, my P.O. box, make sure you include 341062. If you don't put that in there, the post office gets mad at me. But you can send all the knives you want for giveaways or whatever else. <laughs> Sweeney says, when it was spinning around the dryer window, he said, just look at it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can you dye those blue, the scales blue? I bet you could. The Somebody, white the white part would probably dye well. Somebody asked, but it's going very quickly and I forget who. So this, the, the camera's making this look a lot whiter than it is. It's kind of like black and, and gray. But it's, it's, yeah, it's definitely gray. It's not white. But yeah, you would be able to dye in whatever color you dyed them. It would kind of be dark. Yeah, I would give away an auto. I would give away whatever. 
Definitely. So yeah. here, Where's Michael Upchurch. Michael Upchurch. Yeah. What? Uh, he's the one who asked about buying it. Ah. So there's the giveaway knife. Uh, Lou said, I have Kaiser t-shirts and pouches. I'll send some things next week. Please. There you go. There you go. We've got some Kaiser swag heading head to the giveaways. All right. And where did it go? Oh, it went away. Um, let, me, let me tell you. Here you go. Um, How about a pro tech auto? Wow, that'd be something. I mean, if someone wants me to give away something, send it and I'll give it away. Michael Upchurch says, thinking about doing it to my roach sing my carta. It would be interesting. It would probably end up a very deep blue. Is it a 154 sand steel? Uh, yes, it is. I can tell you that without looking. It's got to be. Kaiser T1. When, uh, I like you, bro, but <laughs> Frida says banana rama ding dong. But banana banana lama ding dong. There's the giveaway knife. Ah! Just got real quiet. Look at all the bananas. Not for you, bees, for the fans. <laughs> I don't know. I get, well, see, that's the other thing is what size too. You never, that's the only thing about giving away a t-shirt is the person might not be the size you give them. Or what you do is you show it that it's going to be in the giveaway and you have them put their size in their winning email so they get the correct size. Oh, that's an idea. Give it away now. Um, let's see. <laughs> Mark Barron says, are we all minions? I think we are. The first word that popped into my mind tonight. Then the other one I thought of was gonna be the washer. Oh yeah. Yeah, that 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 fit most people. Banana. I'm a banana. Rob Rivera, sh now people are doing, is showing there them. A song about a banana and pajamas? Um, there is a banana song. Uh, Brian Griffin from the the Family Guy. He's he sing he sings a banana song. And there. The I don't think it's bananas going down the stairs. I feel like there's somewhere some song that's like that. Michael Upchurch said, got some royal blue or blue sapphire writ dye. Going to do my jade, EF, and Sativian knives all at once. Ah, I have, I think, blue sapphire that I haven't used yet. Yes, Kyle, thank you. Peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter be peanut butter jelly with the baseball bat. I remember that. Lana's in pajamas. Oh, no, that says Obama's. <laughs> <laughs> I read that as long as. Oh. Ah, Brent says bananas in pajamas was a kid's TV show. Ah. Did not know. I think I just know the song for some reason. Peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly with the baseball bat. Okay, here we go. Has everyone entered? Has everyone? Has everyone done that? You only need to do it once, only one time. So all you need to do. Remember the banana splits? Ooh, BG Star got in there. So everybody that stayed up late with the bees hive got a chance on, to get in on this this giveaway. All right, so da, 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 da. let me pull it up. We're gonna give this away. Okay, it says I missed the pocket check, huh? Uh, yeah, you did. But you can tell us now. If you, you can want. you can tell us now after this person gets picked because we're going to pick the winner right yeah. after I take the banner off the screen. <laughs> All right, here we go. Are you ready? Are you set? 
go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Says Slowing down. Again. Here it goes. A.A. Ron. A.A. A.A. Ron. Congratulations, A.A. Ron. <laughs> Aaron. <laughs> 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 Uh, you know what that makes me think of? Uh, the, the skit? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is there an A-Ron? <laughs> A-Ron? Uh, oh, that's, uh, oh, that's awesome. Congratulations. Send me an email, beesblades at gmail.com, and make sure you refer to what your handle was and give me give me your, uh, your mailing address and your email, beesblades at gmail.com. Congratulations, A-A-Ron. <laughs> That's pretty creative. I have the feeling. I have the feeling that's someone's second account. I don't like that. Thing. It's too heavy. Oh, uh, well, there's. Well, I had another one, but the ink died. Congratulations, AA Ron. Do you think that's someone's second account? Oh, probably. I don't know. It might not be. Congratulations. <laughs> Double A Ron. He said, thank you. First live chat. Well, how about that? That is awesome. That is amazing. First live chat and won a sweet knife. Hey. Look at that. Won a Kaiser T1 on his first live stream. How is that for some luck? There's people that have never won. Do what? Yep, he's gonna he's coming back for more. It's a good way to spend a Friday night. Yes. Definitely. Night Prado. Night Prado. Um, so tomorrow I'm going to the grand opening of River's Edge Cutlery. Is something going on with D Metal? What is what is going on with D Metal? I've seen a lot. We tried D Metal. What it, what am I missing? I don't know. I just keep saying his name. I've seen D Metal pop up a lot in the chat, but I'm not sure why. Something happening? I, I don't know what I've missed. Nobody highlighted my name about anything. Uh, what did I miss regarding D-Metal? I don't want to have missed something. I just I just saw his name popping up, but I didn't know why. And I know people were playing for him just now. Oh, okay. Uh, is the Corvette giveaway next? Flip flat? You know, I saw the coolest Corvette I've ever seen at McDonald's. Or no, at uh, where was it? There's, Bob Evans. Lacey Lace says, "D Metal always plays for me, so I gave him my guess." Ah, now I get it. Now I get it. Now I get it. We're trying to get him a win. Trying to get him the win. All right. So tomorrow I'm going to Rivers Edge Cutlery. I'll see what they have going on. Anything new or anything cool that I could share with you all? I might do. Um, I might do a little bit of. Uh, little bit of filming i don't know i'm, I'm kind of going just to, to have an off day a relaxed day but i might do a quick a quick little uh filmy film of what the new what their new digs looks like and what they look like email me joe i have a u.s proxy you can send it if we trade oh yeah michael morgan mimo's got got the got the stuff naf collector said glad you felt good enough to do the live bees now get some rest so you can go to the special reopening tomorrow. I need to check out myself for an early start in the morning. Yes. Personally, I like your manner of giveaways. Well, thank you, Tom. Thank you. Um, so this, it's been a lot of fun, and I, I can't believe it's already 1136, but it is about that time. Jeez, can you believe that? Um, any, any final thoughts, Mrs. B's? Well... Just went blank. <laughs> Her I'm mind. Spending Fridays with y'all. I'll probably see some of you tomorrow. Oh yeah. For those I don't see tomorrow, until next Friday, my good friends. And I saluted, but you can't see me. She went like <laughs> this. She gave you a salute. All right, everybody. I love you all. Remember to live life in the present. Keep a band aid handy, and don't cut yourself.